Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We are live here for a brand new series here on Trackside Racing Network. I am your host live tonight. I'm chatting with you to booth alongside Derek Pemberton. He is the guy in the gray with the mask because he is worried about the coronavirus um, in the studio. Um, I am the guy with the big beard who looks like Harry Potter's uncle. Um, ready to go green flag, Derek. From, uh, that, that, that is amazing. That I'm was. so glad you gave just... A fantastic and great description of me. So. Yes, I mean, that's pretty much what you look like. We're, we're scared of the coronavirus. But you also look like the kind of guy that would stalk somebody with sunglasses on. Anyway, ARCA All-America Series, live from Daytona. I'm not going to let you make the comeback on that one. Uh, Derek, <laughs> ARCA cars. Yeah, yeah, very smart. ARCA cars. Um, you you are a fan <laughs> of the ARCA cars. I, I like them. Yeah. Um, we get to see you know, the damage model. Well, not you, but... I mean... Still waiting on it on the cup car here. I racing, good job. Um, no, um, yeah. Uh, actually, I think this is the first time we've actually done a league with the Arca cars fully, and um, you know, it's uh, it's gonna be kind of a fun th thing. You know, we're here at Daytona where anything can happen, and I think we're gonna kind of see that tonight. As you know, anything can happen, and it will happen. Yeah, and not only that, Derek. One cool thing that. Uh, that when I first got broadcast or brought up to broadcast this, Ken messaged me, which is Casey, in here. Um, he came up to me. He was like, "Hey, I got an offer, you know," well, and he offered it, blah blah blah. And he was telling me a little bit about the league. And mm -hmm. I talked to you about this as well. These guys are racing for a little bit of stuff. I mean, it's yeah, not well, like they're just racing, you know. Oh, congratulations! Here's your slap on the back. You won. Yeah, woo woo. Um, Todd's league. Yeah, right. Um, these guys are racing, I believe it was, they pay out for the f top five spots a week. Um, I'm going to basically skip some of this because I'm going to get to the big thing, but it's like top five, top five spots a week. And then a winner gets a sim rig, and I think it's like 250 bucks or something like that. Um, so the prizes for this league is actually really spectacular. That is one cool thing that a lot of leagues do. Um, there's a few leagues that do that, but it's really awesome whenever you get um, some big prizes on the line. Um, and I was a fan of that. Thoughts on that? I mean, it makes you want to race for something. Yeah, and it actually, you know, it's not just for bragging rights. And so if you see someone being aggressive, you know, you completely understand it now because, you know, you're actually racing for something. Yeah. And, you know, that's one thing that compared to most other leagues that, you know, ah, he should have been a little bit calmer, you know. Yeah, it's for a championship, but, you know, now you actually are racing for something. You're racing for big stuff. For sure. So, uh, you know, it's definitely going to be uh, something big, as I believe qualifying they is are, getting started here, Adam. not qualifying yet. They are going to drivers meeting, then going to qualifying. So we will cover qualifying in just a minute. We do want to thank the sponsors. Uh, that you guys are seeing go across the bottom of the screen. Uh, DeMarzo's, I hope I said that right, DeMarzo Gears. Um, M40 Speedway, that's up in Michigan. I'm sure Todd Chase probably watching. I'm sure he knows exactly where that's at. So that's pretty cool um, to have them. Then you got the Berg. Don't know too much about that, um, which is a Speedway, but pretty cool. That's also up in Michigan as well. Do not know too much about that place. Uh, and then Rocco uh, Motorsports, which they offer setups. You guys see the little promo there. They do a really good job. I didn't know a lot about them guys. Oh, and you can't forget about Smartway remodeling. But I didn't know a lot about the Rocco guys. Um, and I need to find out where Smartway is as well. They may be up in Michigan. I can't promise. But um, as far as the Rocco setups go, they had a setup that came out that actually beat Ty Majeski. And I think that that team over there actually won the Modified Championship in the official series. So that's always a big thing. When you go up against guys, some of these guys that run that is just amazing. So apparently their setups are pretty good. Like I said, we haven't used them here. I know Derek, you haven't used them, but when you go up against some big guys and beat them, you know it's pretty good. So um, I mean, yeah, I mean, just I know talking about that, you know, like whenever we beat, uh, he was actually helping whenever we beat that Xfinity driver who was just getting uh, practice for the Daytona Road Course race. Yeah. Uh, what, what was that about a month ago? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, I mean, that that was a big deal, beating someone who's actually a real racer. So I completely understand that, going out beating some big-name guys. Cars are out on track, and that's where we'll hop down to right now for our first qualifying session laps. This is Pete Polini out there, and I do, this is number 51. Sorry, a lot of these uh, 
kicking ass all esports guys have the, the same paint, so it takes me a minute to see what number they are. So just and we'll, that will be fixed going yeah, into we, next week. Gotta be able to see the number better, but uh, it's it's tough. Anyway, I like to see it on a back quarter panel. I would like to see all these guys actually have the numbers on their quarter panel in here. That'd be pretty awesome for these no, stars. No, no, God, no, come on. No, anyway, no. Derek's such a downer. Anyway, uh, Pete goes to the top of the board. Um, 49.409. Actually, a pretty fast lap, to be quite honest. I didn't think we would see that kind of speed out of these cars here. Pretty good. Uh, so, they do get to run two laps. Yeah. I'm surprised. Yeah. Justin Malarkey, do you have a favorite? Do you think? I know that you don't. You know, you don't know too many. Oh uh, no! Okay, no, no. You know that my abacus doesn't come out till after qualifying, so we're gonna wait <laughs> on the abacus. Uh, the uh, the almighty Derek selection on who's probably got a better shot at winning the race than Adams pick. That we're gonna coin that. By the way, that we're coining that. We really need to put that on a t-shirt. We we do. The Adam curse. The Adam curse. Yeah, check for that out in the TRN store coming to you. <laughs> Soon. Justin, by the way, goes to the top of the board of 49-314. Of course he does. And uh, right there, Pete Pellini. Yep. Just uh, which, actually, I'm surprised. None of these guys are running the top lane on their first, first lap. lap. Yeah, that is actually kind of strange. Huh. I mean, I know I know that, you know, it. I, I figured more people would do that, honestly. We may see some guys still go up there. I'm watching right Actually, now. Uh, I see someone right now. He's actually just on his warm-up lap. Well, never mind. <laughs> he took it right to the bottom. That I do like that 111 car. We'll hop back to him here in a minute. Jacob Wilson. We'll yes. Back him in a I got Chris Perry on the screen right now uh, driving. I believe that's actually a Bobby Labonte uh, paint. Yeah, um, I think that's the, he's I got damage. He I think. No. Is that damage or is that the paint? I think it's the paint. Yeah, it's the well, paint. Well, man, because it looked like on that. Uh, Right front, it looked like that. That, that looked like a tire sticking out. So, by the way, this is Derek's track. I just want to point that out. Um, Derek absolutely is a fanatic when it comes to Daytona and Talladega. He loves it. So, if you see him spaz out and if there's a big wreck in turn one, you know, get ready. Uh, get ready because he loves this place. Uh, I do like that Taco Bell paint in the 111. I, I do like it. I do like it. It looks, yep. it looks really. Yep. I've seen a couple of Taco Bell paints that they kind of use that same color scheme. Um, mm hmm. As he actually blinked out. But anyway. Uh, there he is. But I kind of like that color scheme. It's always like the purple and then like the, I guess, either bright purple or pink, or whatever you want to call it. Um, it just goes well together. We need to do a paint like that with some other, other different sponsors. Um, Jake hey, the fifth. I actually got an idea for that. I'll, I'll, send, I'll send it to you. Here's a Marlboro Ford. Randy Hawking out on track. He's actually running the high line, by the way. At least one. You know, that's actually a paint that uh, I've never seen before. Yeah, you know, that's a throwback paint, too. I haven't seen it very much either. I know we had somebody in the chat said they're pulling for the 22. Um, shout out to the 24, Ernest King, Stephanie says. And I'm not going to say the last part because I'd be weird calling him that. So we're not going to call him that at all. Derek might call him that because, you know. What? What is it? I can't say it because I feel awkward saying it. Uh, what is it on Facebook? YouTube. We are live on Facebook, by the way, as well, for people want to know. Please reach up and hit that subscribe button. Smack the like button as well because it helps these sponsors out. It helps us out as well. Tries to get the video notif notified more. If you are ever on Facebook, follow us as we watch Randy come off turn. And number four this time, coming to the start finish line. Let's see what kind of lap. I don't think his first lap for him is going to be good. Uh, yeah, watch for his second lap to be good. That's what I'm really curious at. Uh, he is the only one out there on track right now, by the way. Uh, Dennis Nicole is gridded, but has not rolled off yet. As we watch Randy, he'll work through turns one and two, exit the turn two. Of course, this is the new Daytona. <clears throat> These guys are running this track at night time. There's not, you know, it wasn't sunset. It wasn't none of that, which would have been cool to see. Um, but unfortunately, we get the well, not unfortunately, but we get to see it at night time here. Wait, uh, just out of curiosity, which comment are you talking about? The very first one, the very last one, or the next one to the last one? You, Come on, wanna, baby, call, really? yeah, that's you, it. You can call him that if you want. Uh, well, Mr. 24, I would hope. Oh, wait, hold on, I gotta make sure here. Stephanie might get uh, mad though. I'm just saying. Yeah, I know that's the reason why I'm trying to say, mm. <laughs> see. <laughs> 
you know, uh, Randy goes, listen here, baby. Um, oh, God. You can just come on down and talk to, you know, your buddy old dick. Yeah, and we're doing great with the new league, by the way. I just want to say, yeah. I think they're going to love us here. Yeah, we're going to get fired <laughs> after week one. Oh, I don't blame them <laughs> at all. Um, they're going to be like, um, you know, that guy up there in the booth with you is a little, you know. <laughs> anyway, not judging. Uh, Tyler rolling out the 64. A couple other cars rolling out. Austin Hole as well. Yeah, the driver's meeting actually just ended. Okay. So, these guys are rolling out. And this is a teammate, I believe, the Kick and Asphalt Esports team. And I think, let me double check. I'm not sure if that's a hunker. Yes, it is their name. They got a lot of guys in that team, by the way. I didn't realize it was that many people. Yeah. Eight drivers, I believe. Well, well, and talk about that, though. Talk about that. That's important in a place like this. Normally, I would say yes, but in these cars, it's not going to make a difference. But have you drove these cars back here since the yeah, update? Yeah. Okay, look. From practice. I'm just saying, from the practice that I was able to see. That's true, yeah. It's two-car tandem. We got the two oh, I, I, tandem. I don't know. Do we want to say? I know. We'll talk about it after qualifying. What? Uh, what I told you. What I would say. Today, just gonna, I'm, in the podcast. Yep, just going to agree with you and act like I know because I pay attention all the time. Austin Hall completing one lap, or starting with his first lap. We are going to go over to Ernest King next if he rolls out. Um, that hey, way, Adam, don't let this confuse it. There's two guys, uh, brothers, I think, Tyler and Trevor, who are running the exact same paint scheme. They run the 54 and the 64, so that's not confusing. Yeah, we're going to have top boys. Yeah. We're going to have oh, and... <laughs> And the sixth. <laughs> okay, so here's the deal. Uh, this is going for you at home and for your, you know, the we're drivers that go back. Numbers and we are going to mess you up entirely tonight. Yes, it will happen. It, it's going to happen. I hate to say it, but it really is. So, if you are actually watching it now, go ahead and start thinking about next week. <laughs> <laughs> See your number. Uh, even if it's a different color number, that would really help. If that it's would pink, help. I don't care. Yeah, that would help a lot. Uh, it, 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 world. We can't see. Okay, first off, old man, you're literally <laughs> younger than me, and uh, you're for people that don't know Derek, he is in the uh, Tennessee National Guard. He's a member of the military, which is awesome. Maybe the when you went to basic and all that stuff, maybe your eyesight just faded. Probably fighting the Rona. Probably. <laughs> Oh, I mean, you're not wrong. I mean, I, I agree with it. You did uh, overlook a lot of stuff. Anyway, watch the number 20 Austin Hull steer, uh, steel, should I say, working out of turn four. I do know English barely, but here he comes out of turn four. Coming to the start finish line. This is actually his second lap. Pete Polini's still on top of the board. And this might knock him. Nope, that will be good enough for P number three, Austin Hull. Next up, Ernest King. And he's got an awesome paint, not going to lie. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. This is who I'm picking, just because he's driving that paint. There's like surprise the 24. Oh yeah, on big. You even said surprise. that before we even knew who it was I, I, earlier. I, I said that before we even go went live that yeah. it's gonna be that 24. <laughs> first off, it. first off, first off, you can do a 24. But you can't have the great tires. No, he didn't drop the uh, neon tires. Yeah, no. So uh, that's not an official throwback. So that is official. Can't pick it. What do you mean? He, he threw the great. He drove great tires. Yeah, yeah. He didn't drive. Uh, oh, that shows my NASCAR history. <laughs> he didn't drive yellow tires. He did on some of them, but not all of them. No, uh, I, I just thought he had black tires. No, it was like random at times. I guess it depends what race and how it went. I don't know. Oh. They did use that well, yellow lug nut though. Yeah, I knew that. I got so, that's not weird. That you I got lug nuts. Yeah. That yeah okay. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, there's another one of the uh, cars that doesn't have a number on. This. Actually, no, I think this is the one car that actually does have numbers that has the same exact paint scheme right here. Uh, Daniel, nope, he doesn't. Never mind, I lied. What are the what are the which one has the actual numbers on it that has it on all the sides? I forget. I'm not sure. We'll find out though. Ernest King coming off turn four. He is coming to the start finish line. Let's see where he goes. Currently twenty second. Looking to move up. He is going to move up. He's going to move up quite a bit. Up to P number four. Good lap there for the 24. Good, good. Actually, Adam, we actually have uh, our entire top four has completely uh, changed here. Yeah. Uh, we got Dylan Becky. 
Beckin, uh, Beckman. Beckman? Uh, uh, oh, no. Here we go. Uh, Ken. Hold on. Everybody, welcome to Derek Pemberton trying to pronounce names. Go ahead. Ken uh, Zemez. <laughs> we got uh, Blake Atkin. Will Roberts. Gabriel. I bet I'll say Glacius. Uh, Gabriel. Uh, Ellison. Ellison. There you go. Tough words. <laughs> English is definitely not my first language, as you can tell. Here comes uh, Brad Near coming to start his final lap. Yeah, Daniel uh, Hendred is coming to his final lap as well. Forty nine zero seven one, a good lap there. That's going to be good enough for P. Wow, P nine. I thought that would actually be P five. Well, we're, we've dipped into the forty eights, and you know, you would think you know for a track that's wide open, how are these times so and spread you could out? Explain that. You could explain that better than. A lot of people. Because here's the deal. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, um, you would even admit that I'm pretty good at these plate racing. I think, but you're, I, I, I think you're really good at them. I don't like them, but I do. I do agree. I think you're good at them. But what's the one thing I can't do here, Adam? Win. <laughs> okay. What's the other thing I can't do? Oh, survive. What's another thing <laughs> I can't do here? Uh, apparently, get good. I don't know. Okay, qualifying here is actually really tough. And oh, you know, you think, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I absolutely suck at qualifying here. Yeah. Like, I, I don't care if I got the fastest car in the whole field, I cannot qualify on pole to save my life. Oh, I like that car. At, which one? The 11. I like that. Uh, the 11. Dennis Nicole or Nickel. Oh, yeah. Still sitting on payroll. We actually still got three cars that have not yet put in a time. That's a Steve Park car, by the way. Yeah. But, no, qualifying here, you would be surprised. You know, you think, oh, it's just wide open, hold it to the bottom. Eh, not necessarily, yeah. It, it's not. No, because I promise you, because I've done, I've even had, held that wheel as straight as possible in the turns. And guess what? I was still a tenth and a half off pole time. Luckily with this track, I mean, a lot of people don't know this about this track. You do, because you've raced it all the time. It's your, one of your favorite tracks. Uh, there's a bump pretty good in turn three and four. And if you yep. come up off the bottom just a little bit, just slightly. You're done. Yeah, I mean, it's over. And not only that, you got some people that dip below the yellow coming to the start finish line. I'm not sure if that was in the rules, so don't, you know, don't quote me on that if it was in the rules for these guys. Um, and you mentioned that hold the wheel straight as possible. I mean, qualifying here is very, it's difficult. You can't scrub off any speed. If you lift off the gas just a, my gosh, down to like 99%. If you don't, if you don't come out of pit road correctly you're yeah, done yeah you're not gonna have the speed going drunk. which i think that's honestly been my problem though is that i don't come out of pit road very well okay getting some comments let's see uh best of 22 qualifies top five easy you are correct on that one uh what else we got barely barely on the 22 but yes top five covid social distancing even when virtual yeah we gotta be social distance like, I would punch this guy in the face, and he would punch me. And I would probably lose because he's military. But, you know. Uh, yeah, Matt he, says he he's says tailgating. That, but yeah, we went to the Bristol race together. <laughs> this is true. Matt said he's tailgating for this. Hey. Hey, sir. Well, I mean, this isn't college football, so he, he can get away with it. If him. you're drinking, though, just saying. I may, yeah. I may get a little bit. We may, we may have to take a stop down there. So, to... hey, Adam, are we ready for our picks? So I need yeah, to bring well, up the abacus now. Go ahead and, <laughs> yeah, we go ahead and do that. Okay, so here we go. We're bringing out the abacus here for we're gonna pick whoever might you actually have a better chance. You, but fin yeah, that. yeah. So it, uh, for some of these guys, this is probably your first time watching Adam broadcast. Um, if he picks you, I'm sorry, you're more than likely gonna be the first yellow. Not gonna lie, Derek. You know what I think we ought to do? What? And this is something a little weird. And I'm gonna uh, offer this because this is coming out of nowhere. I think we mm -hmm. got to offer the winner of this race a spot on our podcast next for our next podcast, not the one tomorrow, but the one after. For a week two for podcast. No, for just a segment. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. What do you think? Okay, we'll, yeah. We'll where, 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 what? We'll offer the invite to them if they want it. Yeah. yeah. All right. Anyway, uh, picks who you think so, win or lose. So let's see here if I carry the five. Divided by 500. Oh, add a point to three. Uh, Let's see. What time is it in the sim? It is 9.58. They race at 10 p.m. sim time? Yes. Oh, late race in Florida. And if we 
carry the 15 over. Okay, so I have my pick. Right, let me know when you're ready for my pick. Yeah, go ahead, give your pick. My pick goes to the 73 of Justin uh, Malarkey. Malarkey. Him, by the way. Mwah. That was literally who I was going to take. <laughs> well, hey, look, Justin, I may have gave you some saving grace, all right? So, Adam did not pick you. Okay, so I want the 24 to win just because he's driving my favorite car, but I'm not picking for well, that. Well, he's definitely not winning now. I'm so. not picking him for that reason. Okay, so okay. I'm not going to go with him. Uh, who, who, who are you going with? So the guy that I'm going to pick, I am afraid to jinx him. Robbie in the Just 101. Did. I'm going with Robbie to pick the win. Okay, so 101. Uh, uh, listen, you're 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 not gonna make it. To Actually, it's Robbie Kennelly. Sorry, I always, Ken butcher, his Kennelly, name. Kennelly. I always butcher his Ken name. Ken I am so I bad know. at his name. It he's, don't he's matter. He's me like ten times, and I'm just well, like, I'm, yeah, I'm still gonna say it the way I always mess it up. But I'm sorry. Even 101, one, you're not one, you're not gonna make it to the checkered flag. So I guess we're doing all 20 minutes of qualifying. Yeah, two, two minutes left. So, oh. Um, oh. anyway, so you took the 73 and I took the 101. This might yeah. be the first race I've ever called a race, though, at triple digit numbers besides a road race. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, that is, this is kind of weird to me. Yeah, that's a little strange. Um, but hey, if that's what you like, go for it. Uh, show the 22. I will show the 22. Don't worry. We'll go and go through some of them. Or not. Uh, we can go ahead and go through the grid right now. Uh, cause you know. You want me to do it here? Let me do it. Let me do it. Oh yeah, this will be funny. <laughs> so on the poll, we got uh, Dylan uh, Beckman, and second we got Ken uh, Zemez. We got Bl uh, Blaine Atkin and Will Roberts in third and fourth. Gabriel Ellison and Ernest King. Then we got Pete. Come on. Polini. Yes. And Rent. Randy Cocking. Cocking. Um, yeah. That's just first five. That's just first few rows. I promise. We still got a lot more. <laughs> oh, it's like the very English next class one. 101. Good Lord. Come on. Uh, <laughs> Daniel uh, Hen Hendry, Jeremy Little, Jonathan Leach, Robbie Kinley, Russell Peets, Brad Near, Kyle Crane, Sean Co Cochran. KC yeah, Foot. I don't know who Sean's actually. Like. Austin <laughs> Hull. Kenny Zemez. Matt. Z Just say his first name. Don't butcher his last name if you can't say no, it. No, no, I'm going to say it. Zach Garado. Zach Garado. Uh, Trevor Catalon Catalon Catalano. Catalano. Trevor. Or, might be at Trevor first, then Tyler. Then we've got David Jade. AJ That's Jude, by the way. What? That's David Jude. What? What did I say? Jade. Jude, Jade, whatever. Uh, no, it is Jude. Uh, AJ Dim Dimazaro. Dimazaro. Uh, my pick, Justin Malarkey, Chris Perry, Drew Bordex. That's Bordeaux. That X is silent. Have you ever watched IndyCar? Anyway, Dustin Sluder, Jacob Wilson, Justin Sims, Dennis Nickel, Eric Schaefer. Uh, it runs at final what? <laughs> oh gosh, words are hard for Derek. Sorry, guys. It could be worse. <laughs> you hate me right now, don't you? Oh, <laughs> trust me. There is the cars gridding up here on the Daytona pit road. We will go through some of the paints as well. That way you can see them. I wish it was daytime because some of these paints, like I'm gonna be honest, the um, Kicking Asphalt Esports team has an amazing paint. Even though their numbers on the side or not on the side, the paints look amazing. And I wish it was daytime so they would actually shine more. But I get it. Um, anyway, there is the grid. Get ready to roll out here uh, from Daytona. Derek, a new season for these guys, and you've been in this situation plenty of times. How do you approach the first race of the season? You try to make friends, but you still, but, but this is a big but here. Especially at Daytona. Yeah, at Daytona, this is where you can make friends that are not your teammates, and this is also where you can make some of the biggest enemies, because you'd be surprised, it is actually very easy to get pissed off in these cars. Very easy to get pissed off in these cars. And so, like um, 
What? At a track like this, correct? At a track, well, yeah, especially at a track like this because, I mean, Adam, you can even say from personal experience sitting in a room with me, I mean, one person making one mistake in a lane can completely ruin a lane. Yeah. And, you know, it, it gets very frustrating when you've done all this work you know, to get to a certain point and then have one person make a mistake in front of you and it costs you, you you gained probably six, seven spots, but you're going to have a net loss of like 15 spots. Yeah, so, so we are starting to roll here just a little bit. You'll start seeing the cars roll here we by. Go, here we go. Here we go. I think we're starting to roll now. So great shot at the cars as they roll by your screen. As that road didn't want to get going. They want to wait on a second pace car. Oh, I like that 48 paint. I do too. Yeah, bring out the ally paint. 20, who's that? The 27 start from the pits? So that's 27 or 21. I'm not exactly sure. Not sure. There are a couple cars actually starting from the pits. Um, Drew Bourdais. Oh, actually, never mind. All right, there we go. So we can get a look here uh, at our pole sitters. You see some of these cars. Sorry, i got to find our pole sitter again. Um, give me just a second. Who is our pole sitter? It would be the 31. Uh, my numbers are mixed up over here on my end, so. Oh, give me just a second, guys. We will. There he is. Yeah, Dylan Beckman. Uh, somebody so, also said they wanted to see the 22. There's the 31, by the way. So, Adam, I actually just happened to look at something, and I'll be honest, I'm not happy with a certain. At least I hope this is just for Daytona. Okay. There's only a 12x limit. Oh, no, that is a penalty, by the way. It's not the Adam. 12x limit. It's not the kick, but still. Yeah, I like it. Here, that's not going to be a problem. Yeah. Now, when we go to the rest of the schedule, that's where I hope I see it increase. But that's not so the 22 is driving the National Guard car. That's pretty cool. Uh, it's the right. Jimmy one. I don't like that one. See, I like that one. I don't. I personally don't. I, now, things, a lot of a lot of the sergeants and everything that have been in for a while and higher ups, they got, they've got all the National Guard cars like that. Right. But Here I we go, Derek. Like Bring us to the green. Well, pace truck takes a left-hand turn down pit road, and we are a green flag here for Daytona. The ARCA All-American Series underway, and you already see the bottom lane getting sorted out. Top lane now, the 90 drops behind. It's going to take us a little bit of time to get used to everybody's car numbers and names. That was Ken Zing who dropped from the bottom. In the third and right lane. away, look at this. Look at the outside lane just not forming up right now at all. So everyone on this outside lane is just going to keep losing spots right now. It's now the 24 who started what? P, uh, P, uh, P, uh, P, uh, P, uh, P, uh, yeah, P6. He's already probably falling outside the top 10. Yeah, so, yeah, right now, actually, in seventh. Um, so, we'll see. Now, oh, well, well, yeah, well, it, it's because people went back up to the top lane trying to see if maybe uh, two teammates going to the top lane there. As uh, we may actually be three wide in the back, but they look like they have figured it out for the moment, and everything's two wide. But coming to the start finish line, it is going to be Dylan Beckman leading lap number one of the yeah, season. Yeah, I'm not going to be surprised if we see a lot of these teammates start shuffling their way out or start shuffling their way up to try to get with one another. Maybe not so early. But, see, like, from Ben Derrick's standpoint, because we was teammates and still our teammates, our team does – we have a strategy going into the race automatically. Um, that never – that hasn't honestly worked except for about the last three times. Yeah, so it's worked. But we usually – and this goes for a lot of races in general with teammates. We have a strategy coming in. And I'm sure these guys are no different. They have a strategy that they want to deploy. And it will – will it work? We don't know. I mean, right now it kind of seems like it's outside. I mean, yeah, you got it. Honestly, I see all 600 of these cars that are teammates that, honestly, I kind of wish they weren't like that because I can't tell them apart. It's but to be up to. <laughs> I, I don't know who's who, so I'm sorry if your name doesn't get called out. It's just going to be, we can't tell you apart. So, um, this is where maybe a different color of the paint scheme would be nice, I a would spoiler, think. Spoiler maybe would be called a different spoiler color. Well, no. Different spool color, different car color. But Adam, here we go. Already on lap three, things are kind of starting to heat up just a little bit. A lot of moving around amongst these cars right now. Yeah, you see a lot of double file up towards the front. Towards the back, I don't think you're going to. To me, if you're towards the back, you made your bet of what you wanted to do. Now, you may have yeah. completely, but you, know, you may not have wanted to qualify back there. But for the most part, I feel like a lot of guys are okay running around the back right now. And here's the thing, too. You know, with these cars, I mean, let's be real. These cars are not made to bump draft. Yeah, you do not bump draft with these cars. It's crazy if you do. Usually it's a... Uh, 
it, no, no. it's it's not going to end well. It's not like the cars today where, yeah, you can get away with bump drafting. You know, it's almost more encouraged almost a little now. And these cars, you can't because you will just straight hook someone as we got a car that went below the line back there, but I think he was just, you know, losing some ground. But right now we are uh, double file for about the first. Uh, oh, it's almost like seven rows, maybe more. Yeah, seven rows. And right now that two is giving a really good push to the 31 there on the bottom. As, you know, we're starting to maybe see a second pack might be forming as Dylan Beckman is still in play. I'm sitting there looking. I was worried about the, the guys that kind of, I don't want to say laid back, but mm -hmm. that's back there. They're side by side back there. Um, I'm sitting here looking just back here at that 60 car right now. That is uh, Matt Zaracardo. Zaracardo? Yep. That is yep. Uh, Matt in the 60. But you see that camouflage, that snow camo color car. I mean, they're, he's working kind of both lanes right now. That's pretty Yeah, cool. but when you're sitting in the middle of the pack, though, I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing that. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's you to your own on that. But, I mean, especially if you're trying to maybe catch the pack, maybe. I don't know if I'd necessarily do it. But just in a lapse time, Adam, it looked like that second group has already kind of started to catch How back up to the front group. How fast these cars go? Because I'm seeing 46 second laps being put down. I mean, that's that's pretty quick. I'm not gonna lie. 46 zero is the best time right now. I mean, I mean, the whole field is still together right now. That's kind yeah. of the weird thing. Is usually, you know, as the laps kind of start going on, eventually, you know, sometimes you start losing some of the field. But right now, everyone is nose to tail on uh, right now, at least with this field as there's two separate groups on the outside lane as this outside line is trying to get clear of the 31 it can't quite clear it. the 51 does clear but the 71 cannot quite clear and this is where things get very interesting coming off the corner because this is where the cars can offset and we could very very easily see it someone get turned uh down or up and it will cause a big one apparently the 22 has some merchandise from will roberts and you can buy a hat for 750 dollars and 99 cents uh, for a hat and a million dollars for an autograph picture of Will. That's what his manager posted. I mean, that's a good deal. Um, there, seven hundred fifty bucks I mean, for a hat. I mean, I mean hey. What, 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 I mean, what is he wearing in the picture that he's autographed? <laughs> is it anything? <laughs> oh boy. I mean, is it an OnlyFans or OnlyFans type thing? Yeah. Yeah. Is I mean, I look, hat? look. I, I mean, I gotta know what I'm bought purchasing here. For a million bucks, I, you better I, give me a hint. Yeah, I mean, I at least want something here. But, hey, Adam, if you look at this right now, we got the whole field bunched up right now. I mean, it is basically bunched up all the way from the front to the rear of this field right now. Yeah, and honestly, if you're in the middle of this, like, right now, I don't know how comfortable you are ever running in the middle of the field. In, in the cars today, I would, I'm fine running in the middle of the pack. I prefer to be up in the front because, you know, I like to be up front leading the thing or at least be second, maybe third. But being in the middle of the pack with these cars where one, one, like usually everyone talks about one wrong move here, you may not even make a wrong move and the big one's going to happen just well, because of the way this. these cars are. Let me ask you this. So what? Like mm -hmm. I, get, I get you're not too worried about it running in the middle. These guys have not, not all of them have raced together. Does that worry you somewhat? <sighs> no, I mean, yes and no, because... You know, that is always a concern, racing with people, you know, you like me, like, I'll side draft whoever. I don't care who it is. I'm going to get close. And, but that's because I'm I'm one of these really aggressive people when it comes to here. And that's, you know, I tell people, like, look, I don't care. Push me in the corners. Like, get so, on. Oh, wreck, 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 Oh, at least ten cars. Wait. And they are still wrecked. Still wrecking. We better how we was anxious to see the new damage model fully in effect. Oh, and somebody just arc and break to 55. Oh, no. Um, we're going to try to get a replay here, guys, and I'm going to answer that question in a minute. You had, Doc, just in a minute. Hey, there was a second. I think. Yeah, I think you're right. So that's a 60, by the way. Oh, the leader's got. Oh, Ooh, the outside lane turned each other. Two teammates oh, at 51, after, 71 yep. turned each other. After the wreck, this happened. I mean, look, the, look at the 14. His yeah, I know. That's why I was looking. This is two separate wrecks that happened. I don't even know, man. What? How do we diagnose this? We've never really seen this. I'm still, 
I'm trying to see what happened in this back right. wreck I'm watching back the here. first one right now. We'll take care of that one. I'm going to watch the first one. Here's so, it, it looks like actually yeah, another one of the team's cars, I think it's the Team Asphalt or what is it? Yeah, yeah. The Asphalt Esports. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm trying to see who it is right here. Uh, oh, it's uh, Matt Zicardo, I think. Max Zicardo and the five both get up into the wall here. He just gets up into the wall, hang, holds it in there, and he almost comes down. Oh, and then the 73, he tried to come down, and then everyone just kind of nowhere really to go in that one. Then you see the 14 driving off with damage, and then even further back, something happened here with the 55 that I was trying to see. Somebody just full throttle and come after them. Oh, man. The 111 just had no idea. He thought he had cleared it. He was full sin there trying to get through, and then they just come back up, and it just took at least 10 of them, I think, is man. the number. No, it didn't take out quite 10. They, uh, this happened near the back, but now I kind of want to start watching the second one if I racing will allow me because. Oh. What in the world happened? Yeah, there was some major lag that happened during all that. With so many cars. So the cars yeah. are back on track. Now, I do want to mention, by the way, Derek, these guys do the get a fast repair. Do what? The Allied car took a hard hit to the inside wall. We I want think. to mention that they're, these guys do get quick repairs. Oh, so, Adam, what's the 48 car? Uh, I'm so far ahead now, I can't go back. Oh, oh I can't, 48 back. car just got straight shafted into the inside wall and I think maybe even lost a wheel. Jonathan Leach was trying to avoid the wreck and he just, he had it cleared and then the guy behind him, I guess, just didn't get checked up at the time he got sent into the inside wall. Didn't hit it too hard, but still, I mean, still hit it enough that that car is definitely damaged. I think he may even have, I think he may have got stuck in it. So... These guys did just use a fast repair. A lot of them did. Some of them didn't. Some of them made it through it. Um, I, you see the 31. I don't see no damage on him. I'm um, checking again to make sure you see him. So, Adam, I just don't realize who caused the wreck. Go ahead and say who you thought. thought. Uh, it was my pick. Well. And they do, these guys do got an in-race uh, in control as well. So, good luck figuring that one out because that's a lot of people. Um, yeah. Uh, also... By the way, Derek, in your picture, you uh, mm -hmm. you get nothing but uh, but uh, Jim holding the trophy. Well, I don't want it for that. <laughs> How did y'all pick uh, this career of commentating eye racing? Honestly, uh, we'll we'll talk about that. We will talk about that. I do want to tell you though, as far as hearing the drivers and stuff talk in race, we used to actually do in car audio <laughs> where we go into the channel. But with so many kids that watch and stuff, um, by the way, these are quick yellows. I just noticed that, which is good. Are they single um, power restart too? No, they're just not doubling up yet, even though they probably should be. Actually, it might be. Um, anyway, so we used to go in there and listen to it, but we can't. Well, we can if the league ask us to. We used to really love doing it. I used to love doing it. But sometimes you hear stuff that you know you might not want to hear, and I understand it. So we try not to do that. We will talk about how we got started to broadcast it here soon, though. That's a long yeah, story. It, we'll have to wait for another person. We didn't even do Daytona when I was running NIS, because you know why. Yeah. Because I get yeah. very upset. And in a place like this, I will get. I will be honest, though. In car, when the wreck happens, is absolutely one of the amazing things you'll ever hear, because everybody just starts yelling. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Hey, That's and wild. here's the thing, though, Adam. You know, we was talking about, you know, there was kind of like a major lag in the game whenever... Did that wreck weird, wasn't it? Yeah, it, it's not just on our end; it was on the drivers' end too. Yeah, it was and weird. And I think that's why that wreck happened. And honestly, I that think second. a lot of that's got to do with that damage bottle with so many cars. That's exactly yeah. why. So if you so, were to it, I mean, because I oh, think yeah. somebody get full throttled and there wasn't a car around them. Mm -hmm. This twenty four. Now there's not the twenty four is not cashed up, right? Like there's not supposed to be anybody behind us. Like he's not tucked up, right? Just making sure it's not me. No, now he's tucking up. All right, here we go. Green flag set to wave. Green flag is back on the air here on lap 13. We're back green at Daytona. As the ARCA all And now you series. got teammates. 
yeah. on the bottom. Yeah, and I think that's really what you want. We got some cars. And really we're wrecking. Hard. Yeah, I think we just had an issue. We got a car sitting down here. The 22. Something's going on with the 22. He just came down pit road. Uh, he didn't go down pit road. I think he got sent down pit road. Yeah. Oh, somebody blew up in front of him. They just turned down right on him. And right into his pit box. I mean, you can't ask really much better than that. But who wants what? to turn down on him? Now, somebody blew up up here in front of him, but it's beside the 73. And now we got a yellow right there. He just turned down on him. I'm not sure who that was. Will Roberts goes sliding through know. the pits right into his pit box. Now, where did the other yellow I don't even know how he blew up because he has no damage. So this was a manual caution, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm about to say they had to throw it because that was a wild start. People got penalties. So Will Roberts is actually going to be a lap down and still on pit road, by the way. You got to clear this, by the way, for the deal. Correct? I don't think they are. Like, uh, hopefully they clear this. Because it's not his fault he got sitting on pit road. I mean, he's just going to need the guy that blew up. Welcome to our race, ladies and gentlemen. It gets wild. Um, so while they sort all this out, we'll let you know, by the way, if they clear Will Roberts' black flag. Hopefully they do. Um, thank you, Derek. Is there a chance that he's already on his last fast repair? You think? Uh, yeah, that first I'm, I'm, just, I'm just trying to listen right now. There's a lot of confusion going on. It doesn't really help when... When the game itself lags. So, Adam, uh, I'm going to go ahead and say this. If you know me, you know I like to slam iRacing. Yeah. And this right. is Watch exactly our broadcast good. and you see how much he likes to slam iRacing. And I've already said if this race went caution-free, I would not slam iRacing for uh, <laughs> three months. Well, we have ruined that. So, iRacing, you're killing me right now. That was brutal, though. Like. I I'm just, I, well, but, I know. can't blame the guys. I can't because no. it's not on them. Yeah. I mean, okay, maybe, okay, maybe that yellow was caused by that, but right. The the other one was a little wild though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we gotta ask, how do we get involved with commentating on iRacing? Where does he send his resume? So we got involved with iRacing, uh, commentating just because I was bored one day, and I had my own league, and I'm just like, hey, I want to show you guys racing on YouTube. And I, I race the broadcast was already a thing. Um, but there wasn't many people doing it. I, I personally, I still think we're one of the originals. Agree or disagree? Agree. Um, so, we got involved with it like that. Basically, we just wanted to broadcast early grace. We did get brought in. Honestly, the guy that brought us in, and I don't know if it's the same guy that brought us in. Will Roberts brought me in. Me in. And we did his league for a while. And I'm not sure if it's the same guy. It may not be. But um, there was a guy named Will Roberts. I can't remember if it was Will Roberts or Will Roberts Jr. Either way, brought us in the broadcast. That was my first ever broadcast. And we was crap. I'm not going to lie. We was probably the worst broadcasters ever on iRacing. I used to broadcast with a crappy computer. Um, but they still gave us a chance to do it, which is awesome. Um, so I always remember that league. Um, and I cannot remember the name off the top of my head, but. Anyway, they brought us in doing that, and it basically just grew and grew and grew and grew. I did take a break. I came back. I joined ESBN. Uh, uh, yeah, that went okay. Less, less I said about them, the better. Yeah, that went okay. Um, okay. <laughs> met a lot of cool people doing it, honestly. Got a lot of cool leagues. Um, a lot of them leagues followed us back over here at TRN. Every one of them did, I think, besides one, which I get it, uh, which they want us back now, too. Uh, but back here and basically we just don't we just do it like honestly these guys come to us a lot of us more through word to mouth than anything um that's how you get broadcast or get leads to pick you up as a broadcaster and that's how we got involved with it honestly and Derek just basically Derek was always just with me anyway but never uh, it's usually because it's always because I wrecked out usually yeah so basically now he's he's in here for two nights a week um, on Sundays and this week. Wednesdays, yeah. 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 So, other nights you can see him wreck. Or time. win. Or win. I forgot about Thursday. You do win sometimes. Yeah. But, I, get up on my game. I ain't gonna lie, it was kind of cool to see some of this damage bottle on these cars. I'm not because I feel the pain. Oh, yes, that is true. 
So these guys got two uh, quick repairs. I want to mention that. You got to use them wisely. Especially the way that started out. And it went uh, just now. Yeah, because remember How did he blow 16? up, though? I don't know. I race. Because I didn't why. see no damage on his car. There wasn't any because yeah. it's I race. That's why. Tough break there for Will, though. Just I think there. he got his lap back, I think. Oh, yeah. Let's actually check on that. No, he is still a lap no. down. Interesting. Anyway, well, he'll get it back. He would be the lucky dog next time a caution jumps out, so as long as he don't get involved in it. Which, at this rate, who knows? Basically, if you're him, just drop back. Wait. Get ready to go back green. Here on lap 17. Pace car taking a left down pit lane. As green flag sets the wave. And we are officially green flag here once again. As... The Asphalt Esports team right now running first, second, and fourth. And then you got the two car of Blaine Akin right there in the middle. Almost contact between the two teammates. But a better start that time than last time, that's for sure. Much better this time. We actually got into turn one, I think, with no trouble. And now it's going to be a mad dash. See which lane can get formed up and get going right now. Right now, there's only two cars by themselves on the outside lane right now. They're going to lose a ton of time. And there were some cars it, a little bit further back that jumped out of line as well. The 5 and the 73 jumped out. And I, actually, don't even know, I don't even move. know if you can even side draft in these cars. That's the thing. Well, with these cars, I'm not sure either. Uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't want to try it with these cars, uh, to be honest. They move around quite a bit. Too much for me. Yeah, so here That's they start first line. Dylan, so Beckman. Dylan Beckman's been out front for a while now, correct? Uh, he's led every single lap. Yeah. And now, Derek, tell these guys... That might be watching. You do not have to take tires on your pit stop if you choose not to. Mm, not for this race. Nope. Not here. Now, here's the one thing that does suck, though, being up front, though. You use the most fuel. Yeah. And, explain and these that guys can only run about so, 45 laps. So, basically what he's saying, and I can explain it. These I can guys explain it. Can you do it? But, you want me to? Yeah, you I can know. do it. Well, because here's the deal. The leader, he is wide open. Full throttle. Hey! And he's full throttle, and he's having to break the air, too. So his engine's got to work a little bit tougher. So, you know, it's going to burn more fuel. Then the second car in line, he's also wide open. Well, he's supposed to be wide open. And, and so he's going to burn not as much as the leader, but he's going to burn more than the guy in third. Well, the guy in third, at least in most pack races, the guy who's in third, he might be running three-quarter throttle, half throttle. Maybe a quarter, a quarter <laughs> throttle. Mean, it just depends. I've ran, I've ran a tenth of a. I've let off all the way. Throttle. Yeah, I pretty much let off going down the whole straightaway. I mean, there's a lot of different ways you can save fuel if you're the third car in line on back, and you know that's where you can maybe save about a lap or two, sitting in the back of the pack. Yeah, basically all they're doing is drafting. You guys have been on the interstate. You, I mean, you might already know, but if you don't know, if you've been on the interstate behind a tractor or trailer, even another car, you feel your car moving a little bit, especially draft. Um, it's that airflow. Um, and when two cars get the better, together, together, of course, you go faster when you're nose to tail. But basically the air will pull your car. So that explains it. And the one thing is right now, uh, this two car is all over the back bumper of our leader right now. And that's, especially with this car, that is a recipe for disaster. <laughs> and they only put, we're three wide in the back right now. Really? If I can jump back in and find it. Oh, yeah, we are. I'm not sure who that and is. And they right figured there. it out for the moment, I think. That was a talk no, about car. Not, not yet. They haven't figured it out yet. Now they figured it out. But I thought our leaders were about to door each other for a second. That was close, wasn't it? <laughs> they might be teammates, or at least they might be running the same paint, but they sure ain't running like it. Uh, your pitcher, by the way, is full new. Mm. Uh, mm. National hero, or National Guard he uh, car hero. Uh, she's wearing mm. nothing but the victory trophy. Mm. Is it just the victory trophy, though? Just the victory trophy. Ooh, I might have to. I might have to dabble in this. Might have spent a million bucks to grab out. So we'll see how that works out. Right now, he can work. Oh, uh, we got good. we got some uh, tempers already flaring. Really, the eleven and eighty eight going at each other and right you now. You can say what they said. Some guys might want to hear. It. Don't say exactly hey. the words. 
Well, he said, you know, F you, F that, oh, and now. Um, <laughs> yeah, no. Um, no, he was saying, you know, the 11th was kind of upset that the 88 passed him below the yellow line. But the 88 saying that he was already there and was given zero room. And I believe they figured it out for the moment because they're not continuing and that to was argue, the 88 right? and the 11? Yes. That's way back here in 26 right now. Yep. Wow. So we got Tipper Flair and kind of towards the back of the field. And right now, this outside lane is losing momentum and losing momentum fast. By the way, you see the 88. That is actually the five car that you see on your screen. That is a custom number. That would be the 88 right there. Right. AC there. There's two? Then? I guess. There's two in the five. Yeah, because there's a five car that's in the front. Yes. There you go. Uh, let's see. Hey, Derek? Full field, mm -hmm. 23 laps. We have had yellows right no, now. No. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go, just hang on, just hang on, 73, 1, yep, more, oh, my it. lord, he goes to NASA, bro, that guy just got launched to the moon, yep, welcome to our racing, ladies and gentlemen, my goodness, uh, nobody made it through that, no, we get we had we had four cards, I think. That Austin correct. Hole got sent to the moon. Who? Austin Hole in the twenty. Watch him. He was up front. He was the main one. I can't. I, oh, you ain't like dude, my, my my computer is <laughs> yeah. about to have an aneurysm here. With all the sparks, it I probably will too. Good lord. I'm I'm these, well. these cards. And Derek's lagging because it's because so much stuff just happened. That is. I just, I just paused it. I just paused it. I, I don't blame you. I gotta I let these guys you. fix their car. Let me get up here and fix their car. Uh, so all that happened. There's gonna be some people that's probably out of this race. I'm just gonna be honest. They're gonna have to tow, and they're probably done for the night. Um, Will Roberts, by the way, is coming down pit lane. He did get some of that damage, I think, and bobbed. Yeah, you see the back bumper about to fall off. So uh, probably not going to get a hero card from him right now. Um, you see some of the damage involved. The 54, the 24 is involved now. He will be able to get that fixed because he's still got a fast repair, but he's going to have to tow. So he's spending some time there. There's the 88 car. The 18 car is on pit road. The 10 car looks looks okay. Uh, some other cars run off pit road. A lot of these cars right here did get damaged, but uh, this car's broken. He's in through the track right now. I don't know how that's working out. Um, a lot of these cars are actually in through the track. That's weird. Anyway. It's a 43 car. Uh, heavily so, damaged. So, someone just... Yeah, I I want to try to maybe see if I can go back and see what initially caused this. I'm not gonna see what happens after that. Not gonna lie, I'm not gonna be able to see what happened after that. But we're gonna try and. Yeah, you probably shouldn't. <laughs> no, uh, I'm I gonna try. You, I can tell you what happened. They just made contact when they were si kind of like side drafting. You said they was close to getting into each other. That's what happened. They they blamed the 24 on it. No. I don't know. How, I don't think he was nowhere near him. The 24 was the one that... He ran into somebody after they came down the track, right? No. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm say, I don't I'm think he... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How do you blame the 24 on that Yeah, one? I don't think he... He was involved after it all started. No, he was the third car in line, Adam. Yeah. The 24. But, but I'm saying, though, like, they wrecked before he was really near him. Right? Like, the car came back down and he went through him. Correct? Mm, Adam, the... the 24 was the one that had the 20 going around in front of him that caused the wreck. That's what I mean. Like, they yeah. was already going around, though. Correct? Actually, yeah, I kind of... I don't know, though, because you can't blame the 24 for that, though. Because... I'm back. He I'm moved up. Going. He moved up like everyone else. Everyone else moved up at that point uh, in the I racetrack. No, I see it now. I don't really see how you can blame the 24 on that. 
Let's see. Here's I, I, okay, let me, let me take that yeah, back. Yeah, it's 24. I see why they're yeah, blaming the 24, yeah, 24 but... He just came up. Well, he got, but look at the cars in front of him, and look at the car behind him. Yeah, Everyone moved up at the same the point. The only thing is, and, you got to know when you're clear and not clear. He, I don't think he was trying to clear. No. Me personally. Yeah, Me I, personally. He, I don't think that's a clearing move. I think what it is is his car moved up, and the 20, is that the 20? Yeah. The 20 was the car that didn't move like everyone else's car moved. But he don't have to. He don't have to, no. So but you got to look at who came up. Like who made yeah, and, and I'm not saying the 24 didn't come up. The 24 came up. Yeah. But that's not an intentional thing. And oh, that's, that's not just intentional. Kind of he that, didn't wreck on purpose. That's just the car yeah, doing what the car he wants. He didn't wreck on purpose by any means. Oh, no, no, no. That no, wasn't no. big enough, boys. I, I, I'm going to go back and watch this on your screen so I can see actually. If it was a big one. So everyone came down pit road. Actually, I take that back. Shut my lying mouth. Everyone did not come down pit road. We still Jeremy got Little three Little. cars out front that did not want to come down pit road. Everybody else, pit Jeremy. Jeremy Little. Everyone. Had, everybody else has been on pit road. Even the one in the thirty-three. The ten in the thirty-three, or the one in the thirty-three. The ten in the thirty-three. Yes, they had. Oh, the Where one. did the ten come from? I don't know how. Oh, the one. Yeah, that he was on pit road as well. The ten thirty-three one has been on pit road. They pitted a lap or two ago. So, the 55 yeah, yeah, the pace lights are off. We are on lap 26, coming to 27. So, Adam, we're only a quarter of the way through this race. Yeah, and this is where it gets interesting because some guys have already used, they're done with fast repairs. This mm -hmm. is what worried me. Like, this is what I was talking to you about earlier. You're going to go through these quick repairs, especially when there's big wrecks. With this many drivers, you tend to go through them quick repairs. They don't mean nothing. And now it's got me wondering, Derek. Well, we have any cars that can't even finish well, the race. Well, not only that, no. you're going to have penalties mm -hmm. because the incident limit. And once again, I rest my case for why incident limits are stupid. Ernest King coming down pit road. Is that an incident limit? Probably. Yeah, yeah I'm wondering if it could be. And, so. and, and and once again, this is why I rest my case on why incident limits are the stupidest thing on iRacing. I don't, I'm in not In league racing. I'm not a fan of them either. Um... Oh, oh, you finally decided to join the dark side on my, my, you, you're taking my side it. on this. Yeah, and Lee Grayson, I get it. I don't think there should be. but Because the X limit is only for, that's where Facebook should just I say to at, Especially at certain tracks, there shouldn't be. Hey, you know what's funny? I, um, Facebook just let me know that we are still live on Facebook. They that's just nice. wanted to let me know that, that we're still live on Facebook. That's nice to know. <laughs> uh, talk about shaking and stirred. Oh, I just now seen it. Uh, chat over on Facebook. Sorry, guys. Um, Jonathan comment. Um, Robbie Buckner. Comment in. Comment in. Good to see Robbie. Robbie on vacation for Beehive Media. Paid off and said, well. Here we go. Leaders clear each other. Uh, the top two clear each other, and they go down. As can see, foot out front. He is the one that brought us on board, by the way. It's going to be pretty cool to see him in his only grace. These guys, I mean, we talked about it. these guys are racing for a lot. There's payouts for top. Hey, hey, five. hey! Look at, look at, look at the two. All going. by himself, gonna pass them both. No, because why not? Go, I'm telling you right now, he's not passing. He'll pass them. No, the air's, the he's air's gonna stop it. Watch now. If the eleven gets back there, then you know the eleven or one eleven. Hey, well, it looks like this two knows yeah. what he's doing. I expect him to go to the front right here. You say it. That, you say he's going to the front. Well, yeah, he's doing it right. Look at this. He has got them cleared. <laughs> but he's doing something oh, smart, he almost no, He's doing something smart because I think he had him. He's doing something smart. And, Derek, you talked about this. He's making a friend. He's, he's not leaving, He's not leaving the 111 out. Oh, yeah, because that's how you piss people off the absolute. Yeah, they won't work <laughs> with you next time. Now, yeah, because if he pushes you out there once or twice and you don't get it, then, okay, I get it. You know, see, that makes me, see, that's where me as a pusher that makes me mad is if I push you out there and you don't clear, you better clear. Like, you better just go. Yeah, I mean, like, honestly, I agree. Uh, oh, somebody blinking right there. Oh. Somebody blinking. Anyway, uh, I want to mention that we have spaced out from the second half of the field. This is only the 19 cars right here that you see running. The rest of the field is spaced way out. Oh, and I've seen a message on uh, YouTube that says, uh, 
<laughs> Luckily, Roberts Racing just signed a three billion dollar contract with Amazon. Yeah. It's a great, great deal. I mean, you probably could have got like three point one, but you know. <laughs> oh gosh. Derek signed like a fifty cent contract the other day, didn't you, Derek? Mm-hmm. That's so, about uh, money. Uh, to, to, to my pimp out there on the streets. Oh, gosh. Ah, uh, oh, boy. Quick, 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 quick. There they go. And death, 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 death. This has just took out a lot more cars, and I don't think a lot of them is going to have a quick repair. That's the sad thing. I am sorry. How do you... Here's a look at this. Oh, this was on a straightaway, and... Okay, look, it's not... Ugh. The 6 goes to the inside of the 60. That is, I can't tell if the 60 moved down from this. He may have moved down. I, From the view I had, it looked like... Uh, Man, if I'm the, the 6 was right there... Now, so mad. Honestly... That, you can't pin that on the six. The six is yeah, there. I'm the same way too. The Dude. sixty, the sixty was not in in, in a de designed lane. You can't. Yeah, he kind of moved around a lot. The six has no. Yeah, that's why I look. No, at go it. watch the sixty whenever he hit the tire barrier. Oh, let me go back. I, I give him about an eight point four on the landing. Let me go back here. It might take me just a second, guys. Bear and they put the penalty on the six for some reason. Yeah, I'm not sure. To me, it looked like the 60 moved around. Here's a look at this, by the way. Um, I think, actually. Did I go too far back? I don't know if I went far back enough. Maybe I don't know. Anyway, we'll, we'll believe your word for it. He did a full back flip and... And did a 360 no scope as well. But here's what here's what worries me about this. These guys are without without fast repairs now. Oh, uh, we've already had guys about them. Real quick, guys. There you go. There's the sponsors on your screen. Uh, you see them popping up big in front of you. I want to thank all them guys for coming on board and sponsoring this series. Not only that, the broadcast and all that stuff as well. Appreciate y'all. You guys watching, make sure you check them out if you're up in that area. Um, lock them on Facebook or something. Um, it helps them. I mean, that's why they're putting sponsorship into it. So, you know, they're not, you know, they, they may not care too much about what we're doing, but they still believe enough in it to get their name out, and it helps them. So we want to promote them as much as we can. So make sure you check them out, guys like Smartway Remodeling and all that. Um, I'm sure that's a local business. And that's a great way to show support. So, thank you very much for that. Uh, also, tomorrow, we got a full day here on TRN. I believe we got the podcast coming out tomorrow. If you guys haven't watched the podcast over on Facebook, tune in tomorrow. Back in the game podcast, if you're into other sports, we will be talking a lot about that. Um, Mainly football. Yeah, we'll Mainly talk a lot football. about football stuff. Um, because that's, it's more of a random stuff. We do talk about some iRacing stuff, um, of course. Tune in and watch Derek's Dilemma. That's always fun. Um, where you can hear Derek playing. I like so, yeah, so they actually just penalized the set. Okay. Um, anyway. Um, uh, also, tomorrow night, Red Sox Racing Series. If you like road racing, we'll be live here on YouTube and Facebook as well. One of the oldest leagues in our racing, one of the founded by John Henry. That will be live for week two for them guys for um, Road America. Uh, followed by that, we will be live for the iRacing Legacy Cup Series. That will be live tomorrow night. You guys can tune in to watch Derek try to get another win. He's got two wins in that series so far. There's a couple other guys over there that's got two as well. We've had some great racing over the past few weeks. Some very fun racing. Forgot where we are tomorrow night. Bristol. Uh, Bristol. So that's a great racetrack to be at. Yeah, you got you got two straight. Uh, you got two nights, uh, two uh, eighty-seven Cup League races at short tracks. Yeah, and then we got a short track race on Friday night as well. 
The season championship for the North American I Racing League will be short track racing. These guys right here are go to short track racing as well, too. Um, Saturday night, the I Racing or WSCRL League will be live. That's a little bit later on Saturday night. It's around 10.50 p.m. Eastern time, so it is a little bit later. Um, oh, and get ready for it. Yeah, uh, tune into Derek's Dilemma tomorrow if you want to find out what could, what's going to be happening on Saturday night. Oh, good Lord. And then on Ooh, yeah. uh, Sunday, the American Sim Racing League, the great series. Trucks will be live with them. So that's our rest of the week. Where, stuff. Are, we at? where, where are we at on Sunday? Yep. North, Fantastic. Uh, it's a short track. Um, yep. You would think I would know this because I do all this by memory, by the way. Yeah, I know. Ain't that crazy? Uh, no, North Northboro. Oh, that's going to be fun. Oh, yeah, because that's what I want. Two nights in a row. <laughs> that's going to be fun. So we'll be there. No, no. Truck racing. Green flag set to come Here. out. And we are racing. And I think, Derek, it's time for us to do a little bit of turn it up. What do you think? I like the sound of that. You guys turn up your headphones and enjoy. Big wreck breaks out here on the front stretch at Daytona, and this just took everybody else out. A lot of cars was involved again, and I don't even know who. The 111 just took the wildest ride I have ever seen. That looked like Newman, didn't it? That was the 111, you said, Jacob Wilson? Yeah. Yeah, that looked almost identical. Really, Ryan Newman or uh, Austin Bl uh, Dillon. Watch this wreck. So, all the 48 gave a big shot, and it just caused them to mess up. So, also, while we was also under that, the 24 and 20 started going at each other a little bit. I seen somebody uh, coming down pit road, too, right before this caution happened. They was like, we're going to go ahead and cut down pit road before the caution happens, and we talk about a lucky break for him. Now, the 48 got into the back. I can't tell which one that is. Maybe the 51. I can't tell from here. The 31. And it got him loose. I mean, he hit him pretty hard. And I'm going to be honest, that's going to end a lot of people's nights. No, some of you guys, I mean, let's be honest there. You know, not to be mean or whatsoever, but they are out of fast repairs at lap 38. Yeah. And also, by the way, race control's not here either. His computer decided they didn't want it to uh, crap out. And so now these people that have got penalties now can't get their penalties cleared. This this could get fun. Yeah, it's gotten interesting, that's for sure. I mean... Oh. And with no fast repairs, penalties, and what, maybe about 15 cars without any damage right now? I mean, this... Uh, this race is going to turn on its head a little bit, Adam, and we're not even at the halfway point yet. Yeah, remember how I said we're going to get a long green flag run? I still think that's true because a lot of these guys are going to be done. Like, being honest, you know. Um, 
want to mention the 22. It's three laps down, but his car looks better, so that's good. Um, I thought he got the wave around, but I lied. Uh, six, getting the wave around. So there you go. So pit road is going to be open here. So I racing is having its annual uh, aneurysm. Um, apparently, a lot of people are having trouble watching uh, replays. Dude, it was lagging on me. It's done it a couple times. And the ten missed his pit box. Oh, a bunch of them missed it. Uh, he'll be all right though. So here's what's gonna be interesting, and I was sitting thinking about this a minute ago after this wreck happened, because we are going to get lower car counts, of course, when people start, you know, wrecking out. Unfortunately, um, you're going to have a different pit strategy eventually. Because, like I said, we are going to get a longer flag run at some point. I mean, some guys. If we keep getting jealous, some guys may not even have to pit anymore, and some guys will. This is true. So that's pretty interesting. Anyway. So David uh, Jude is out right now, out front. Yep. Uh, David Jude in 94. Uh, AJ Damarzo in second. Randy Talking in third. Actually. They're having a dispute with that right now. Uh, Blaine Ack in fifth. Gabriel Ellison is in sixth. Kenny Zames is in, I think, in eighth. And Kyle Crane might be seventh. But this is all, like I said, this is all still a work in progress. We get it worked on. But uh, these guys next week go to a short track, which is going to make things very interesting. Because if you think tempers are bad here, Derek. <laughs> we go to Iowa next week, and Iowa's a fun track. I like Iowa, especially in these cars. I yeah. like them. Um, mm -hmm. I like them in these and the trucks. Iowa's going to be a little bit different story. Um, tempers. Um, tempers will flare. Yeah. It's going to be Temper interesting. Tempers will flare. So now, Adam. Uh, I, I don't even know really what there is to say right now. I mean, we're still on lap 40, and we still got 60 laps to go at this point. And what would you say? Probably 15 cars don't even have a fast repair anymore, if that. Yeah, and I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know if many people have a fast repair left. Like, I'm sitting here looking. So, what if we get that one-off chance that uh, everyone wrecks out? I don't know how that would work. You know, I was in a league race um, one time. This before I met you. We were so, in uh, street stocks. I was in a league race one yeah. time. Yeah. Everybody wrecked out. I'm not playing. Everybody wrecked out. This is before I met you. We was in street stocks at Charlotte. Mm. On the uh, Legends course. Ah. Uh. Everybody wrecked out. Second place turned first, and they both went head on to the wall. And just came back down and... I mean, there was already other wrecks, too, before. And there was only, like, six cars when all this happened. And literally, everybody was involved. It took everybody out. So, I think they actually, if I'm not mistaken, they called the race. Um, the league officials did, and that's how they finished. Green flag back out the air, though. Uh, I just noticed one thing. I think you're allowed to go before the green flag here. Yeah, you're allowed to go once... That's interesting to me. For Daytona. I, yeah, I, I don't know why. For Daytona, I, like for Daytona, I mean, I understand the league doing it, but I, if, if I'm in that situation. You're waiting till the green. Yeah, like you, you want somebody to be on your bumper because if not, to be honest, they're going to get such a big run behind you and it never works out. And they are catching a lap car right here. That's the one on the bottom. And here comes the two. He's getting a big run. This is what I was saying, though, like. We're going to be three wide here going into turn and three. And they somehow made it for the moment. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. He got such a big start early jump, man, it didn't help him none. 
may hurt, maybe hurt him. Yeah, it definitely hurt him. He definitely that's what cost him leave for sure. Um, oh god. Well, then he just jumped yep. straight back. Yep. Big Rick, once again here at Daydona, the twenty-four, the fourteen, and, and everybody's out of this one. That oh. one doesn't need very much dissecting. Yeah. Yeah, that was definitely. No, that was definitely a 94. I don't care what you say. Yeah. You can't say anything to me. I don't uh, change my mind yeah, about that I one. agree. We've seen that uh, one coming from a while back, I believe. Oh, I, I knew it was coming. As soon as I, see, as soon as I seen him, because you can tell when someone's looking to go to the outside, you can just see it come up. You know what's funny, though? And, can, and I'm not making what? excuses whatsoever. Mm -hmm. He was actually hit square, though, and it just turned me. What you was talking uh, about these cars. I said that you can't bump draft no. in these cars. No, you're talking about it. No one wants Pretty to. Pretty big wreck, though. The 5, the 14, yeah. 22. I think 22 somewhat made it through it, even though he went through a car. Um. Yeah, he got some damage, but I mean, that's not going to hurt him. He's all right. 24. I mean, this is going to end a lot of people's night in this one. I think this one is going to end some people's nights. All right, guys, we're going to take a quick break. I got to grab a drink. I'm sure Derek does, too. So we'll be right back after this. Welcome back here to the Arc All America series in a wild and crazy ways race. We are about at the halfway point here in this one. We have uh have had a few yellows. Um oh it's half the cars decided to blink out on me. I do apologize. Uh ready to go back green this time. And I'm looking right now. We still got quite a few cars actually running. Um including some lap cars. I'm not gonna go through all of them, but right now we got nineteen lead lap cars, so I wanna point that out. 
Not sure how many of them are up to speed. I want to make sure I point that out as well. Not sure how many dot quick repairs left and all that stuff. Not sure how many penalties there are right now. Um, it don't show us that, so unfortunately. But we are ready to go back green. Adam Chapman with you with Derek Pemberton in the booth. Green flag set to come out. Pace car takes a left, and somebody just skipped somebody completely back there. And I'm sure there will be. I was on replay. That's and the five funny. just skipped the whole field. Um, yeah. Oh, that's about as good as you can get about jumping him. I mean, hey. <laughs> the I good mean, news is he went to the outside, though. Yeah, he went to the outside, and I mean, he said with the front pack. I mean, hey, I give you props for it, my man. <laughs> and Adam, you know, look who, look who's right there, uh, fourth car on the outside. Fourth car on the outside. Fourth car looking. on the outside lane. Actually, he might be in the middle lane right now. Is that the yellow eleven? Yes, sir. Yes, nickel. And he is right there. Actually, taking away three wide right now in the middle. That 11 car, that Steve Park throwback car, and takes that spot away. So, what I'm seeing there, a lot of people up front, they you want the top spot, it seems like, honestly. Mm -hmm. You want to be right on the bottom, of course. That's where everybody, every, you're avoiding everything. There's a lot of aggressive racing still going on to be 50 laps left, or a little over 50 laps left. Um, you know, and I know... I get it. Everybody wants to be into money and stuff like that, but you got to make it to the money first. Well, I mean, hey, you know, like this Levin car, I don't think he's been in a wreck yet. What do you got to lose? You still got two factions. You do pressure. got a point. And same as Robbie Canelli think, back in 12th. I don't think he's been involved. Number two. He is the 101. He's been involved. Has he? He's been involved in two. Yeah. Oh, so okay. So he's got his on his. So, like, I think Levin's in the best boat right here. If I'm you. I don't care. Like, I mean, once again, you know, I can hear what these drivers are saying. Yeah. You know, a couple of drivers are getting upset with how aggressive the 11 was getting, trying to make it three wide, but I don't blame it as we're about to have another wreck going into one, but they yeah, save it for I the mean, moment or not. The I don't 11, know. If you're the 11, you can afford to be aggressive now if you're him. If these other guys can't, like, that's say okay. what you want. Take advantage of it. Well, it's okay because he's about to get wiped out because cars on the bottom just about shifted right up into the middle of the racetrack. Yeah, I don't I know what that was. Careful. Well, that's why right there. Look at that. They're getting stacked up right there on the bottom, and now they're fanning out, and all they're doing is losing time for that outside or that inside lane. As now there's a gap, and we got a yellow, and I think I know this is not where I thought this was coming from. Now, this was a and now we just got to make sure everyone gets through it. Yeah, this is a one car wreck. This is a 64. What in the. I don't know. Oh, so, okay, hold on. Did he blow a tire? There ain't no way. There's a way. We've seen it. I've done it. Oh, the uh, 191 got involved. Yeah, I don't know if he blew a tire. Oh, here you're right. No, he didn't blow a tire. He just got up in the wall. Oh. Let me go in and listen in car. That's, uh... No, he's got stuff in the wall. That's interesting. Here's a replay of the car, by the way. Ooh. And just got absolutely that annihilated. That scraping sound, that was so bad. Hmm? That scraping sound is so loud. It sounds so weird. I don't it like does. it. Yeah, it like hurts my ears. Mm -hmm. It's like nails on a chalkboard. So I'm going to be honest. I'm going to hit pit road here. This may be the final time I hit pit road. Huh? Being honest, uh, with the yellows that's happening, like you could save enough fuel under yellow with 50 laps. I mean, if you're on a 100% fuel at Daytona, you can at least go 40 laps with a 100% fuel if you're in the draft, of course. So, anyway, we do have the podcast tomorrow, I think. I think Derek's off tomorrow. I think we're going to try to do it tomorrow. Um, what are we talking about? Derek Probably. Payton. Yeah, what? Sorry. I want, <laughs> somebody said, I want every dri driver drug tested after this race. Oh, trust me. We're <laughs> <already>. <laughs> somebody was Way. speaking about that in the Discord Way earlier. ahead of you. Somebody was talking about that in Discord earlier, too. That's funny. 
Somebody said, uh, just for reference, probably not a good idea to smoke during this race. And everybody commented, oh, wait, you don't? Well, it's my... <laughs> um, anyway, podcast tomorrow, what are we talking about? NFL. Week one NFL reactions. <laughs> Especially from uh, my man, Adam Chapman. <laughs> You're late on that, ain't you? Oh, that's why I can't wait. To, that may uh, not be the first fight. thing you bring up, too. Oh, it's, oh, uh, I you didn't know. We're not even starting with the Thursday night game. We're starting with a specific game. Yours? Nope. Don't you dare say mine. <laughs> yep. That's the first one we're talking about. I was about. hoping we'd just throw it in the middle somewhere and just skip over it within like 30 seconds. Uh, negative. We are 100% talking about it because I want to hear your reactions. Actually, I already know. I can't say what my reaction was. <laughs> oh, 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 I know. I will not longer be allowed to broadcast anymore if I actually say that. Uh, yeah, ain't, ain't that the truth. Ha- um, hashtag cancel culture. Yeah, right. Did I just um, say cancer culture? I think so. Cancel, cancel culture. culture. That's, a, that's a tough word there. Uh, uh, so we'll be doing that tomorrow. And with, also um, we're going to probably dabble a little bit in iRacing, probably dabble a little bit in NBA. Yeah, because you're, really you're, of, you're a fan of you're a fan of the sound now in iRacing. The ambient sound. <clears throat> Although he mumbles. Yes. He, he literally said there's a car going in a circle <laughs> on a racetrack. <laughs> I was like, do what? <laughs> oh, God. You know, I need to go up. Um... And just sit there? Just sit there and listen. I don't want to do it in a broadcast, but before a broadcast, go up there and listen to it. It would be a cool idea. They're supposed to get actual, you know, like race personalities for each track. Mm-hmm. There's, I, from what I've seen in the, the notes, that they're going to try to add to that as it goes on. So that's pretty cool if they do, though. My thing is, though, how much... I guess the only way you can get it is by getting recordings. From the actual racetrack. Which I don't no, think well, that's, that's too much for eye racing to do. I don't think that would we be too do. hard, though. No, no, it is. It's eye racing. You really hate eye racing sometimes, don't you? Oh, hate is not strong enough of a word. <laughs> I I hate certain drivers. Well, we know that. Eye racing, eye racing has another level. Hence. You don't hate it. You just get frustrated with it. No, you're right. I, I hate Madden. I, I hate I Madden. That is Derek Pemberton. Um, he is on iRacing. Been with him now for a while, so you know, you might not want to say you hate too much. You know, they can answer. Okay, fine. I don't hate it. It sucks. I would much rather go play NASCAR. Actually, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't <laughs> oh, no, you wouldn't. Anyway, Green Flag no, to come no. out. Yeah, great. Yeah, Green Flag get ready to come out. We'll go more into detail on that whenever the yellow flag comes out, or tomorrow but, on the podcast. Or yeah, whichever comes first. That um. Be <laughs> Oh gosh, that'd be better. What? Uh, Kyle Crane in the 33. He's now. Has the 33 had an issue in that though? I, I don't know. I think I'll be he's honest, had one. I, I don't even know who had the pole to start this race. I'll be honest. Yeah, I think he's had one. Dylan Beckman had the pole, by the way. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, that, that was just longer. Yeah, he, he led a part of it. Uh, let's see. Outside lane trying to get a run. Still more cars working the bottom side. But we did see this two car earlier basically get up there by himself. So we'll see if he can do it this time. You was talking about that a few moments ago. He was able to get up there. You said he's side drafting. He did it a little bit there as well. What worries me is the speed of some of these cars. I mean, I'm sitting here looking back to the field. A lot of these cars that's even on the lead lap. They're under speed. Uh, the 94 is really under speed right now. So we'll see if that plays a factor. I mean, I know it will tell, but we'll see if there's any more cars that have that issue. 24 is action in pit road. I think that might be a penalty. Yeah, he's actually 12 laps down. From, I didn't pick him, Derek. How's that? Does that count? Yep, you you you, t- you said you wanted. Him I to said win. I wanted him to win. Is that still considered the curse? Yes. Oh. I don't even know where my dude's at. So. Who did you pick? Oh, hey, this is cool. The camera view I just had it was the exact view for the Austin Dillon flip. That's pretty cool. 
Uh, two by two right now, four rows deep. Uh, not so much anymore. That is kind of stacking up a little bit further back. Man, these black cars that I saw esports right there. About I did hear. Time. I did hear their their new paint should be ready by next week. Should be. Okay, I like their paint. Like their paint's amazing. Their paint's awesome. But it's just hard to tell for us. Yeah, you're making. Like I'm not gonna lie though. Like if we had it on our team cars, we would run it. No, we wouldn't. Yes, I wouldn't. Was. You you wouldn't run the same paint as me. No, because well, here we go. We're three wide. Never mind, they you figured lied. it out for the moment. Yeah, you lied. Um, yeah, you would. You're doing the same thing as me. Yeah, you're right. I probably would. We all I would. don't know. Yeah, because I'm, I'm used to F1 racing, so I'm used to teammates running the same paint. Anyway. Uh, up front. Coming off turn number two. Lap car right okay. on the bottom. That's not going to be an issue. You almost forgot what turn we was on, didn't you? Yeah, I forget that about every track. To be honest. Daytona is a little bit harder to forget. Bristol, like when we go to Bristol tomorrow night, you'll hear me forget it three or four times. Where are we at? Oh, yeah. Bristol tomorrow yeah. night. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not ready for that. Yeah, I don't have to. Coming to lap 55, Blaine Akron still battling for the lead. Led that lap. Oh, wow. So I actually, I actually got to look at the crowd. It's actually a crowd and not. It ain't cardboard cut out for more, yeah. It's not cardboard cut. Hey! We're breaking social distancing. Hey! <laughs> I thought the same thing when I've seen it, too. That uh, would have actually been funny if we would have had to, still had the cardboard cutouts. What a, what a fit perfect right now. Here they come right at you. I love that. Uh, turn it up. Yeah, I, I like that one, too, because yeah. we're sitting right at the bottom of the racetrack. I love yeah. the way it looks. Here we go. Look at that. The two goes to the lead here. Is he going to clear? He's not wanting to leave. Yes. Oh, okay. So that time he does. But I say he hasn't been wanting to leave his help. And if he don't stay out of the middle, he ain't going to have no help. Because that is basically a shuffle job. And, you, well, how about this? He's not going to have to leave for very long. Yeah. That 11. Good Lord. He pushed that five. It's that, it's that DI engine right there okay. pushing to the front. <laughs> Off turn two. They do got a lap car going up into turn three as well. More cars working the bottom side right now. We do got five cars on the high side. But I think there's five cars able to get the lead. He's not trying to leave. The There's three well. wide back here. Nah, they figured it out. Your great view from the spotter stand as they work off turn four. More cars in the back getting single file now. Looks like we're starting to see more cars try to get single file. As we are seeing some racing being done. Yeah, now we're at that kind of point now that everyone's, I'm pretty sure, just tired of racing at this yeah, point. Everyone's yeah. just kind of ready to get this race done and over with. So I think now you may not. This is going to be interesting. Huh. Oh, that's the 48. Okay. He's going to get away. Well, I've never heard that one. They forced the lap car to get down on the apron. Never heard that well, one before. But... Honestly, that's a good call. He was so slow. That's a that's a good call. Oh. Yeah, that's a good okay. call. He's so far underpowered. Mm. So that's a good call. One thing, Derek, you talked about these, and I don't know. I haven't drove these cars in a while. So, these cars tend to move around a lot more, correct? Like now, especially since yes. the last uh, latest updates on them. Yep. So, it don't help. And I'm not making excuses for the wrecks, but, you know, it does not help. You know. By the way, look who's that third car on the outside lane. By the way, he's a lap down. Will yep. Roberts, he is four laps down. Don't know how he got four, but, yeah. yeah he is four laps down. Oh, three so, wide. no, he, uh, he was involved in a wreck. He had a tow. No, no, we were three wide, but they figured out. Dan, look at this new leader. Yep. The five. AJ going to the lead. So it looks like if you sit there and work hard for a couple of laps, it's you'll get good. it. And the two, wow. the two did not want to sit behind him for very long. He may even lead the lap he at does. this rate. Coming to the line, it goes to the two. You know what's interesting is, there. this is something we haven't really been able to talk a lot about in the trucks. Of the 11. Here goes the, the 11. That was close. The 11 almost cleared itself. Or, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, he almost um, cleared the two, yeah. Uh, interesting, though, because we haven't really been able to talk about this in a lot of the upper cars, like the cup cars, the mm -hmm. trucks. 
the outside yeah. lane at Tal or Daytona has not really been working. Um, with no, because, I, because NASCAR screwed up package, the package. Yeah, the new package. So it's good to see it working in these cars. Like, you got multiple lanes of racing right now. Yeah, you, yeah. Oh, there they go. Well. Yeah. Uh, big wreck. More cars involved. A lot, of team, a lot of teammates involved. And in leader just wrecked. A lot of teammates involved in this one. They're still wrecking right there. They're still wrecking right there in front of them. Oh, my goodness. No one got through this. I think like two people. No, they so wrecked. So, the 11... Let's see. We're going to try to see this. Uh, I need to see this one a little oh, bit closer. Oh, he came down here. on him. A hundred percent. Yeah. Who is that on? I can't even see the number on that car. I don't have a oh, number. Oh, it's a 33. Oh, okay. oh, wow. He got hit hard. Man, he Almost got flipped. hit really hard. Yeah, he just came down on him there. And that's the thing. You talked about side drafting these cars. It's kind of what it looks like he was doing. Their teammates got taken you out don't, as well. Where he was doing it was not the right, right, the right spot. spot. That's yeah. the problem. Yeah, because you don't want a side draft coming out of the corner. You want to do it through the hey, corner. Hey, Adam, you ain't going to believe this. What happened? Nick code. You think Nick code? Dude, there's at least three feet in between them. They're wrecking again. Hold on a second. Right now? Yes. Ooh. Uh, I don't know. Oh, they, Hold on they a second. Are wrecking. Oh, somebody's coming back up the track with five. Something's going on with him. Oh, right here. Oh, big wreck. Big wreck is what happened here. Uh, here's another wreck that just happened, guys. These guys was catching a pace car. And oh, th oh, the five just came up. He couldn't. He can't see. And he just hits the 60 almost, well, for him, probably full speed. Oh, and then more cars piled into it. No, he could see, by the way. His hood was down. Oh, that's odd. Yeah. On my end, his hood was still... It may, be, it may have... Okay, so yeah, it's yeah, up, it's but... Up. Yeah. It's not all the way up, but it's up. He, it's hard to see. I'm trying to get in the cockpit, actually. That's really hard to see. Uh... Actually... <laughs> that's wild, man. Uh... That is absolutely wild. You know what's crazy? Adam, 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 he could see. He knew what he was doing. Now the six, I, I think. Yeah, I think it. he might have been a little mad. The sixty didn't, couldn't see. He had his it all up. Well, you know about just minding your business, and then that's about how twenty yeah. twenties went yeah, this year. I, the five was head hunting there. Yeah, he may have been a little angry at somebody. But I'm trying to figure out why, though. Let me back this up here and see. Did these man, two I make contact? I'm going to be honest, I don't know. We are at 40 laps to go. Um, and I'm going to be honest with you guys, that took out a lot of people. There's going to be only like 11 cars that's going to be capable of running speeds. Dude, I don't, I don't know. There yeah. might be more I'm saying cars. 11 cars that is has that didn't have to spend a lot of time on pit road. So there may, there may be other cars. And I think here comes the field this time. Um... Uh, looking around dude i don't even know who's on it's the nice to dude. know that you're that the 11 car that you picked or well you didn't pick the 11 did you no mm -hmm. yeah there's gonna be some really slow cars now i think uh pace lights are off i'm trying to see if that is in third brad near is, or i'm sorry gabriel ellison's going to be shown in third in the 27. Well, this 14, I think, is going to have to drop back. Yeah, he's going to drop back. Wow. To be honest, it's been a wild one, guys. I, I don't I don't know. Uh, Kenneth Byron says 60%. I forgot what I asked to ask for a percentage. It might be sixty percent of them are drugs or on drugs. <laughs> oh gosh. So Dylan's still out front. Well, I don't want to say still out front. He was leading earlier. 
in a race, and then he got shuffled back. Now back out front here again in the 31. The 111 of Jacob Wilson, that very awesome Taco Bell car is running second. 27, Gabriel Ellison, Brad Near third, fourth. Trevor Caliano, uh, probably butchered his name, I'm sorry. 54 is in fifth, and that's your top five. Get ready to come to the green flag. Here from Daytona International Speedway. So how many cars do we got on the lead lap? We still got quite a few on the lead lap. It's just a lot of them was underpowered, I think. Yep. That's what. Here we go. Doing. We are green. And the 31 gets away. The 111 tries to get down. And we'll see very quick in here yeah. who's up to speed and who's not. Yeah, but well, I guess the 31 must not be up to speed because the 111 just drove around him like he was sitting still. You are correct, by the way. Actually, everyone drove around him like he's sitting yeah, still. He might have an issue. Yeah, I'm going I'm to try to hop on board. If I well, the head, now the 6 is clearing the 111. And yeah, now here comes the 31. You know what he may have been doing? Laying back. No, I'm going to be honest. I don't know. I was sitting there trying to figure it out, too. I thought he was just going for a hookup with the teammate, but I don't think that's where it was. Not sure, but Here they come off oh. of turn four, and you can see right now, there's not, not a, lot. a lot of cars in this lead pack, yeah. Um, I think it goes all the way back to 11th. I think from 11th back, well, maybe we can go back a little bit further i think you could throw the 94 maybe there as well i don't think i don't know if they're fully up speed they don't really have the front draft but they're there but, yeah um, now if you're kind of in the straggling line behind this main pack right now you are not out of this race yet yeah i agree now, I think you don't want to fall too far back here you kind of, but you want to make, well, I guess you, it don't matter how far back you are, you're going to get involved in the wreck, apparently. So, yeah, I think that, I don't think the caution's over by any means. Um, but right now, in my, in my personal opinion, you got to set yourself up. Now you're playing the caution game. You're not playing the race game. Like, you're playing the caution game. You're waiting for a caution to come out. Where do you want to be? The lead. I, I think the lead would be the preferred spot, I think. But with 54 blinking a little bit, that kind of scares me. Um, to be honest, maybe even half a track behind. Uh, be no, because they were still piling to the rig. Don't give me that. <laughs> That's a possibility. Because uh, they've been doing it all night. Is the 6 now cleared? Nope, not yet. The 111 gets a good run back. Go enter in the corner. But Jacob hasn't yeah. led a lap, has he? Cannot. I think he's led a couple. Has he? But, I mean, honestly, right now, I only see about 6, 7 cars right now that maybe have just a chance of being able to really lead a pack you know as the 54 and the two are fighting the one? a little bit here. what who's that one car oh he's a lot down who no oh. no who is that one car that's up there there's actually two cars there was number one um he's behind the two. Oh, it's robbie cannell oh, oh is he a lap down no Oh, I haven't talked about him at all tonight. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. And there's a lot of good short track racer guys in here. Like some really good guys. Like Casey's a really good short track racer. That team is. Robbie's going to be right there with them. I think Robbie is maybe one of the best short track racers on iRacing, just being honest. Um, we've watched him on Speed 51 when I brought well, him there. Hey, hey, uh, the honest. battle for the lead is starting to get a little tight right now. This six is not giving the 111 any space right now as they're actually starting to catch a lap car right now, and things are starting to heat up at them, and we're still 30 laps from the checker flag. Yeah, so it's about to get really interesting here. Sorry about that. Um, I'm watching this. Well, I'm still watching this main group, but I'm anxious to see what the second group is doing. Jump back there just a little bit. So right now we got 12 cars. Oh, let me jump up. Yeah, this is going to get tight. That got interesting right there. Some, I think that's a 54. It moved around a little bit. Here they come. Off turn four. Coming to the start finish line. So remember earlier we talked about the 43. Remember we seen him wrecked? Mm -hmm. um, he's back in 13th. He's not with this lead group. He is the one of the cars in that second group. He owns the 55. And the 54 is about to clear right here, but I don't know. He's about to get turned by this two, I think, right here in a second. 
just based off what I just seen right there. He, this is not going to end well. I'll be honest. Once it starts getting down to like, what do you think, Derek? 15, 10 five. laps, five? Uh, I don't even think we even make it to that point. I'm saying once we do. I think you aggression could. picks up more. Like, you start feeling it in the car. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. When these laps start ticking down. Good pass there by the 54. Yeah, yes, it was. It was a great pass. Like, that's what I'm saying. In my personal opinion, you can't wait for guys to come along with you. It's not working that way. You have to, as soon as that opens, you have to take it. Mm, from what I'm seeing. Yeah. Yeah, because if you try to wait, it's just not going to end yeah, very well. You can't wait for somebody right to come now. with you. Like, normally, I, I would say, yes, you wait. But from what I'm seeing tonight, you, you can only clear one car at a time. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't bring a pack with you on the outside. Now, at least, the unless you work there. really hard. Yeah. And we are seeing more cars here on the bottom. Uh, as soon as I say I that, six jumps out. Here we go. But see, I'm surprised okay. by this. Like, I get what the six is doing. Like, you want to lead. But at this point, that's where the aggression to me has to... you got to have controlled aggression. Like, there's no point. You're running second. Like, right second. now, me, personally, I would not have pulled out. And I know yeah. that's shocking. Just to ride to around. Say. Yeah, just ride around. Yeah, right at this point... With as bad as this race, okay, I don't want to say it's been a bad race, but as, you know, as, With as many cautious wrecks as there's been, race, yeah. I mean, I, you don't want to put yourself bad. at risk, yeah. Yeah, just ride around. Now, granted, if you start seeing this top lane start getting some momentum going, then go. With about 10 to go, then yeah. But right now, I mean, you're still way too early. You haven't even started to set up the move to win the race yet. And what's crazy is, these guys know this, I think. Like, and I'm judging by I rating, and I rating don't mean everything. No, I don't. Um, they got to know this, I think. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Like, who's that right there? The 71 on the bottom? Is that 71? Mm. Yes. Yeah, he's right now running fourth. I like what he's doing. He hasn't left that bottom line since we went back green. He's just riding there. Yeah, like, no need to be. No need, no need to. to be. Yeah, and I think that's experience, and, you know. No, I'm saying the rest of these guys ain't showing it either. But, you know, there is some guys still running the bottom. You know, Robert Kennelly has dropped to the bottom as well. He was on the high line. He's seen what was going on at the bottom. He's like, hey, you know, it ain't going to hurt me to ride around here. And there's a reason why he hasn't been bought too many wrecks as well. Um. But the only good thing is right now, these laps are ticking away right now. I mean, we are, you know, inside of 30 to go. Now trying to start working on coming to twenty eight to go. Right now we're on twenty nine to go. I got a, you know. I got a serious question. I'm sitting here looking at like, mm -hmm. how many how many laps they've been out there. Mm -hmm. Thirty one. A Blake or a Dylan Beckman's out there for coming to thirty laps. He can't make it. Now, can, are you we sure about that? With all the pit stop or with all the caution flags? To me, it's like. It's a gamble, you know. It's gonna be close. And he may not, he may not be able to make it. That might be why he's riding where he is, saving gas with that draft. Cause he hasn't really moved from the bottom as well. So we'll find out here soon. Either way, we are catching a, a couple lap cars here as well. Huh, interesting. So, we got pit stops. 31, all yeah. by himself. So, if that's the Just case. No, he might be good. How many laps did he run? 30. But then we had yellows. So, I'm wondering if there's a penalty. Or... Is he for sure knows he's short? Uh, 48 decided he wanted to go be a part of the Tokyo Drift family. Oh gosh. Why do you do that? Um, so, it's going to be interesting to see. Because, like, if he's honestly short, like, if he knew, like, if he had to pit that lap, 
then these other guys are going to be very close. Like, running out at the I line close. They, I think he knows that every, he thinks everyone else might be short. Yeah, that's going to be... Now, I wonder if that's what the 60% was that he commented. They had 60% fuel. Is that what it think is? So. Yeah, but the thing is, you got to think, these cars could run a lot longer than the old, uh, that the new cars can. Yeah, so if it's 60% fuel, the... I don't know if they can or not, actually. With all that fuel economy now, I don't know. I mean, 30 laps seems about what they could run. I think they're short. I think everybody's short still. But the thing is, if he's short, and his teammates are still short, you would think, you know what I mean? Yeah, the, he would have had his teammates come down with Come with him, with him yeah. And, and we're at 25 to go right now. Yeah, and these guys have been out there for 14 laps. I'm going to call it now. They're short. But it, it's still a weird strategy, you know. I mean, I get, like, you know, why your teammates wouldn't want to come down at that time because you never know if cautions going to come out. I get it. And the cautions here already come out. Because so the six just made contact. Uh, they saved that. I believe so. Good save. Brad Near, and I think somebody. I think. Oh, that's not going to end well. Oh, that's not going to end well. Oh, they somehow made that work. Here's the contact. No. One spinning, one spinning, one spinning, one spinning. No yellow. That was Dylan Beckman in the 31. Now, did he spin? Yeah. Yeah, he did spin. No yellow because he's on the apron. He gets a little help from the. Yeah, big wreck. Big re everyone just wrecked. Really? Going up to everyone. It? Everyone. Okay, it wasn't everyone. It was like three cars. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, everyone with oh, the ball. It may have been. Hold on, I'm watching now. I was on a replay. Oh, yeah, the 54 got the two. The six. Don't know what number that is. I apologize. Well, then if that's the case now, I'm looking to see who I made it through it. Now is your chance to hit pit road and this will be your final pit stop, though. Because we're coming. We're going to be going green with, what, like 20 laps to go? So, now's your chance to, you know. I'm sorry, did you ask me a question? No. Okay. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how this wreck actually occurred. I don't know. We are watching these guys. They should come down pit road. I believe. Let's see, we will be interviewing. That's what I forgot to do. Mm. I forgot to interview our pole sitter. I do apologize. I forgot all about it. We will be interviewing the top three, however. But I do Man, apologize talk, for the leader. Talk about a hard wreck for the two, though. Yeah, and what hurts him, the six is done for the night, by the way. That was his last chance, I guess we can say, as far as quick repairs and stuff. Um, here comes a big race on pit road, though, so this is going to be an interesting race here as they do work down pit lane. And, yeah, if you're – now, did the uh, 31 kind of get a break from this? No. Who does? I thought the 31 might have got a break from him. I forgot he was involved somewhat. I love how it shows this pit crew here, and it's my pit crew, but we can't see. Yeah, um, I know. I, I don't like that. I wish we could actually see the pit crews. So, feel only yeah, for the 71. Someone, we got someone coming into pit road with only a hood. That would be the 33. He can't see anything. Oh, look at this. That's if he can somehow find way to in his box, perfect. I will give him credit. Oh, oh it, goes it down. came back down. He had an idea, though. He had a pretty good idea. I like and it. And he had a quick repair. Good time for a quick repair, though. <laughs> Cause there ain't many you still players. got it at this point in the race. You're yeah. you're doing something. So, Daniel, by the way, the 71 is going to be your leader. He did not take tires. That was, uh, I think it might have been a two-tire stop. 
good call for him to be able to take the lead. The 15 comes out next. Robin Canelli comes out third. Casey comes out in fourth. Good call for him. I ain't gonna lie, I like to say Casey win this. Be pretty cool. I mean, you're a uh, league owner. I know, grab this win. Oh, you know what's funny, by the way? I actually, mm -hmm. um, I actually knew how far because I'm sitting here looking at the race information. I knew how many percent fuel they had, and I forgot to really? mention it. Yeah, it says right here, sixty percent fuel to start, three sets of tires. So, mm -hmm. so I kind of knew that, but yeah, I kind of didn't pay attention to it. So that's my bad. All righty. Pace light's going to go off as we get set to go. Green flag here in just a moment. Pace lights off, I can't tell. I think so. So what now, I'm sorry? I'm trying to make sure the pace lights was off. So we're coming to 20 laps to go when we can take the green flag. As we ride on board with Daniel in that 71. We check it over on our leaderboard. 15 cars are on the lead lap still. Not sure how many of them have damage, unfortunately. Um, we know some of them do, but. Or some people may have just been hanging on to, that you know. That last repair. Yeah, because I feel like that may have just been. That'll at least be the last time I think we have to worry about. Yeah, so. that, yeah I was looking at it too. I wish there was a way that we could see it on the um, live timing. Mm hmm. Maybe that's something we can talk to. I can talk to the makers about. Maybe get that added in. I don't know if we'll be able to tell, though. I doubt we'll be able to tell. They probably won't allow us to do it. Probably not. Well, yeah, because that gives away people's strategies and stuff. Sorry. Right. what? Yeah. Like yeah. flash repairs and stuff. Pace yeah. car is taking a left down pit road. Green flag set to wave. 20 laps to go. Green flag is out of the air. And we will. Probably find out, probably before we even hit turn three, who's up to speed and who's not. Yeah. I will sit there and say I've seen uh, Robert Kennelly let Kenny down in front in that 15 car. Casey on the outside. Remember, we did see this outside work by itself with only one car before, but wasn't able to clear the outside. So we'll see if that's the case here. But you do not have a teammate to your inside, so that may help. I and mean, as soon as I say that, who is that? The 27? Gabriel Ellis jumps up behind the two there as well. I thought the two. Be honest, I, felt, fact, I felt like he's been like six wrecks tonight. Probably has been. No, uh, he's just saved, I guess. I don't know. Anyway. Coming to the start finish line. Who's it going to be leading the lap? Daniel leads it. Check Facebook. Ah, ready? Watching this battle right now inside the top five. Everybody right now, I'm trying to see who that is. So 43, haven't really spoke a lot about Sean, but there he is. Oh, I hit her on button. I'm sorry, guys. Looks like kind of a. Uh, apparently, there's more. Uh, we got some whining and some complaining going on in the back of the pack right now. Well, I've noticed, by the way, Derek. Mm hmm. Top 12 are gone. Like, Derek, these guys behind them, I don't think they have enough power. You talked about it a minute ago. We would find out who had enough power. Top 12 are kind of showing that they have the power. And may. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say top. Maybe even just top 11 or 12. Yeah, top 12. 
Everybody else, I think, is a little bit underpowered. I've seen the 111 of Jacob Wilson struggling to get up to speed. Um, mm -hmm. Looking at his miles per hour compared to the guys behind him, or I'm sorry, he's pushing, but three wide. This never ends well. The two is on the outside. This, is, if they survive this, it's a miracle, I think. That's a 27. I haven't talked a lot about Gabriel at all. And here he is right in the middle. I about the 27, the 1, honestly, the 43, the 55. Been quiet, yeah. I haven't really talked about a lot of those the cars 43, tonight. 43, so. yeah. You might have said the 43. I think we said, what well, thing about a wreck in the 27? <laughs> Drops down to the bottom. The side draft going on up front from what I see. Casey putting some side draft on. He's doing it in the right spot, though, going into the corner. What you want to do is do it in the corner, through the center. On the exit, that's where you go out wide, and it just kind of, it don't slingshot, it necessarily doesn't speed you up, it just slows the other car down. Top two, getting a little bit of a, I don't want to say gap, but doing a good job here of kind of separating ourselves from these guys. Coming to lap 86 next time, oh, Bob, oh, yeah, 27 makes a big move there. And that allow Casey to take this spot away. Interesting. Yeah, this, honestly, this is where thing. It's getting ready to pick up. I don't, want to think, I don't want to say stupid moves, but you're about to see some bold crazy moves. And yeah, moves. It, and this is where because, things you start to really pick up. Like, let's be because honest. It, yeah, because at this point, you, I, I, if you even think you're clear, you're taking it at this yeah, point. Yeah, I think now. Yeah. Basically, you're pulling a Mark Truex Jr. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. I went there. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I agree. I will be honest, though. Daniel's doing a good job. Him and that 15 are working really well together. The 15 hasn't really left his bumper, and that's, you know, that's kind of benefiting Casey in a way as well. And I mean, as soon as I say that, the outside's getting a run, but that's not the surprise. I don't think we're surprised seeing to get the out or the outside get a run, though. No, uh, you know that they're going to get their run. So, I mean, it, it, it's bound to happen right now. It's just, it's just time, now going to be what's going to happen whenever we get inside, you know, in 10 laps time from now. Yeah. You know, it, it's going to be, it, it's just going to be absolutely crazy. Yeah, because, in, you know, are you going to willing to get off the bumper to go try no. to win yourself a race? You're doing what you got to do to win the race, I think, and you, you ain't stopping for nothing. I, I agree. Not, not at Daytona. At least, yeah, most definitely not at Daytona. Not at Daytona, yeah. Because it might not be that bad next week at Iowa because you ain't going to be butt drafting and stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit different of a race. It's a little bit, to me, it's more calmer, even though it's a short track. Just It won't be near as bad yeah. as I think tempers there are worse because it is a short track carrying over from this race but this is going to be interesting by the way mm, um, that's a teammate but I think you know going into that race I think that the racing is going to be a lot cleaner I want to mention that I do yeah I, do. I think it will yeah. be too it's just Daytona and with these, these cars, cars. Yeah. We, we, you just knew going into this it was going to be rough you would have wrecks yeah yep but, Adam, I mean, you know, once we got the... Oh, oh, here we go. That was a... There might not be a caution for this. Nope. No, nah, they're going to come back on track. Yep. They're going to come back out on track. No There's caution. the yellow. Yeah, we just got to hope everyone avoids. No. Wow. Th there was another wreck. Another wreck. Another wreck. 43 is around. Okay, we'll go up to that. Let's watch the first wreck. Oh, first. big wreck. Big, no, we got a car that may have just died. Okay, we'll check that out. Let's watch this first one. The 15 gets into the back of the 71, just a good push. And these things just can't bump that good. And you see it right there. And then you said the 43, correct? Oh, uh, 94. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a big one. Ah. Uh, Boy, the 94 did. Head first into the wall. Three wide between the 15, the 55, the 43. I'm involved. trying to see if I can see what had happened here between the 94 and the 15. Yeah, I don't know. 15 just came up and tagged That's what him. I thought too. Let me double check. I know the 94 got a little squirrely right there in the middle, but yeah, uh, 15 came up and got him. Yeah. 55 got lucky there. Wow. 
So, I'm going to be honest, that does take some cars out because there's no way they got that many fast repairs. Nope. So, my situation here, I don't think you pit, though. Like, we don't know how many cars are going. You don't want to be caught behind a slow car that's got damage. Mm -hmm. So, I don't think you would pit. You Blake's looking like he might. Uh, if I'm Casey, I'm staying out. Yeah, there you go. Finally. Someone finally did it for finally, you. Finally, thank you. And what I'm saying thank you for, because Blake tried to basically bring everybody down pit road, and nobody fell for it, and everybody did the opposite of the leader. I'm just happy to see that happen. Hey, my main man, Robbie, Robbie K up there, though. Hey, I thought my Adam Chapman curse was real, Derek. Who'd you pick? Robbie Canelli. Uh... We're yeah. over you. Hey. Good working, buddy. Where's my pick at? Oh, he's out. No, he's not out. He's I'll, still running. I'll be honest. I actually picked I actually, pick. who did I pick? I think you picked a 33. Or was it a 31? I don't know if there is a 31. No, you didn't pick a 33, did you? 73. 73. Who's two laps down? There you go. Great pick. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, you did pick just one lucky. By the way, I think my... His car looks good, though. Because he's a lucky dog. Hmm. Yeah, his car actually looks pretty good. So, anywho... I'm getting ready to come to 10 laps to go. Should be doubling back up this time. I, I did. Ready to go. Back green. Still got quite a few cars right now to lead lap. Uh, 15 cars to be exact. I mean, that's not too bad. 32 car field uh, for Daytona. Did have a few yellows, of course. Um, but let's be real. We've seen great finishes to Daytona races that have had a ton of wreck. That is true. Remember the one where Kurt Busch won? Exactly. That was a wild one, wasn't it? Yes, that one was a wild one. So I I don't care. We could have 100 yellows. No. I would lose my ever living mind if there was a hundred yellow. Uh, guys, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button here on Facebook and or follow on Facebook and subscribe on YouTube. It means a lot to us. We're trying to build our channel back up. Um, where we took a break from this channel, we built up another channel, um, pretty much by ourselves. So make sure you guys follow us here and all that good stuff. We appreciate it. it does help the league as well. Thank you to the league sponsors here tonight. And thank you all for watching Trackside. We do very much appreciate it. Um, I know tonight's race hasn't been the greatest for the fans. I understand it. Trust me, it's going to be fine next week when they go short track racing. A shorter track. This place is just so tough like Derek was talking about in these cars. Anyway, green flag set the wave here as we come to nine laps to go. Green flag is being displayed. And... Right here, we'll see who's kind of up to speed and who's not once again. And I thought I've seen some kind of, um, I thought I've seen some weird stuff kind of going on in the back, but I think they got it figured out. Where do you like being right now if you're in a situation late in a race? At this point, I don't even know. Yeah, I, I'm going to be honest. I think I like where Casey's at, but I feel like you have to be on the outside to win this race. <laughs> KP is not in the best spot right now. Yeah, I feel like you have to be on the outside. Like, see where that third car is at right now, the 55? 
Mm-hmm. I like where he's uh, at. Now, if the 111 uh, pulled up, like if I'm the 111 of Jacob, I'm pulling up in front. Or they're going to leave KC out to dry right here. Yeah. This I mean, is. This is where things are going to go wild and crazy, folks. Strap your seat belts up right now. This is, you're probably about to see some of the craziest moves you've ever seen right here. Especially in these go, cars, uh, yeah. Yeah, especially in these cars. Robbie Canelli just got left completely out. He's all the way back to ninth. He's going to, there's still plenty of time for him to get that lane yeah, back he up may and have rolling. Seen something he didn't like. I don't blame him. Uh, right here. He's in trouble, Casey he is. Oh, that was close. Uh, and it was definitely not clear. And you I said don't it. Think. We talked about it earlier. You basically have to clear yourself. I mean, that's basically what At this what point now, it's not a 10 to go. Yeah, you got to. And right now, they're going to be bumping each other. And actually, the 111 got to the inside of the 10. The 10 cleared himself again. I don't know how many more times the 111 is going to let him do that. Yeah, I agree. I'm I think you got to kind of be careful. That would, uh, me right now, I'm on the back bumper. I'm pushing this 10. I'm going to clear him and then set Here's him up. Here's what I'm doing. Like, if I'm Casey, right? Mm -hmm. I'm letting this 15. I'm going to stay on the bottom. Let the 15 get in front of you. Take, he's going to take it eventually. Let the 11 be the one to push you. Yeah, Don't and let... then pull out a line and go to the top. Because we know that second line stalls once that first car drops out. Yeah. You're going to have the and opportunity right now, to cross him up. That's what the 55 might be seeing here and is thinking about how did, he needs to get this. The 55 has got to get this 15 clear. And then got to rebuild his momentum. He needs to be getting that 15 clear, I think, in the next two laps to have a chance at maybe putting himself at the right place at the right time right now. I mean, right now, if a yellow comes out right now, that throws a wrench into everything right now. But here comes the 15. Get a big run on this outside. We'll see if maybe he'll get the advantage here. Yeah, I don't know if a, if a yellow was to come out and say we have a green-white checker, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know if the outside line is going to have enough time to make a move. Because it seems like it takes a few laps for well, this to happen. Here's the deal. The outside lane may try to get formed up faster because everyone on the bottom is going to try to get to the outside, and it's just going to absolutely kill the momentum. Well, the 15's clear. Oh! oh! Jacob. Here we go. 15's clear. Jacob. 111 saved line. it for the moment. 15's clear. The 10's stuck on the bottom. 55 and 2. Working it on the outside. Here they come out of turn number four, coming to five laps to go. I see. And out of that 111, it's not out of this race yet, yeah, by the way. I like where the 55 is now. Too I like early. being in the high too line. Early. Yeah, I agree. I think too it's a little too early, but I like being on the high line. I see right there, yeah. Clear right now. Yeah, and he's clear, but he's got to make a decision. And it's a decision that could cost you this race. Personally, if you go to the bottom, I think you cost yourself the race right now. Mm -hmm. Being honest. I think you stay in that high line. I think I heard a lap car, but here we go. You got teammates, three teammates hooked up on the bottom right now. I uh, don't be surprised here if maybe we see a third lane try to be formed here. But the 55 is clear. He's going to go to the bottom. That's going to maybe set up the two. There might be enough time for the two to maybe be able to get back up there and be able to set up a run. It's, it's, all new. it's hard to tell where this is going to work out at. Like, it, 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 there's a lot that's going to happen here in yeah. the next three or in the next four laps right now. But the pushing has begun, as you can see. They've been pushing all night, but the pushing. Has begun here late in this race. 54 is all over the back of the two right now. They are all over each other right now. I with like four the high line, man. This high line, definitely, they're going to be able to stay hooked up together a lot better than everyone else right now. That's going to be the big difference maker is that they can stay full throttle compared to everyone on the bottom. And that might be the difference right here for maybe the two to <laughs> get up to the front. The oh, no, we're not right <laughs> now. And that 15 is all over the back of the 55 trying to keep him clear. The 15's got to try to get... The 55 clear enough where he can maybe jump up to the outside lane. And right there, the slight move there out of the two, slight bobble there on the outside, that might be enough for the 15 to get up and maybe try to clear to get to the outside lane to maybe try to get an advantage here on the first straightaway. Not going to be able to do it just yet. Yeah, if you're they the 15, you got to do that as soon as that hole opens. you got to jump up. You can't ride behind this guy. If you do, you're not going to win this race. No, right now he's got to be pushing with everything he's got smartly, but try to get this 55 you know, so far out in front and maybe try to see if he can pull this two maybe away from his help just a little bit. But right now, what's hurting him right now is that 10 is not helping this 15 at all. That is what is completely killing the run right now is that they've got no help behind them on this inside lane. So that's letting the outside lane get the bigger advantage because they are able to hook up just a little bit better than this inside lane. You need a drink? No. <laughs> Oh. Actually, we were maybe he was looking at maybe trying to get a third lane working here, but we are coming to two laps to go right now. They're coming to two laps to go. I'm still seeing 55 on the inside. Leading, no, the two's in the lead. Two led that lap. The two led that lap there. Two laps no, to go here. No, that's the question. If you're the two, 
You just stay there, right? Like, you don't know. There's no rule that says you have to drop down once you clear. No. And at this point right now, now here's the deal. If he can get it on the back straightaway, you, you clear. Yeah, I agree. Like, if you could clear him on the last lap or whatever, you, you, you clear. Go. Or even right here. Yeah, right. you go. Here we go. We have got six turns left. If the white flag comes out, the race is official. The race is considered not official. Have a Yellow flag is not no, out. There's a hood up on somebody's car, by the way. What? There's a hood up on somebody's car. White flag is not yet flown. The yellow would have to come out right now. The no, white flag is out. White it's flag is out. They are nearly touching. White flag. One more lap to go here at Daytona. Adam, and pretty much out there. You Some, hold your breath. Somebody's driving at full speed with the hood up. I just want to point that out behind these guys. It's Daytona. Here comes the two. He's trying to clear. He's oh. trying to be clear. 54. He might get the run on the outside. Here He's to the outside. Get ready. Here we go. Oh, five's up in the wall. Big oh, wreck behind him. It ain't done yet. <laughs> It's not over yet. Oh, we still got to get all the way back to turn three and four right now. Who's the car in front? The fifty, the fifty-five has 55 the advantage. Has he the does. Yeah. Fifty-two make contact. Now the two's going to go up and hit the fifty-four. They're not done wrecking yet. Here they come out of turn number four. I think the fifty-five's got it. They're wrecking. Wreck. Wrecking behind them. Big wreck. Even more. Fifty-five. Fifty-five, and I think it's a fifteen and the two. Yep, 55-15-2. Jeremy Little, Kenny Zames, Blake Aiken. <laughs> that, that ain't gonna lie. Like, there was a lot of regs, but that's what makes Daytona exciting. Yeah, right there coming to the end right there. I, I, honestly, if this had been Talladega, I think the 15's the winner. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, I think you would have won it. All right, guys, we're going to try to interview him. After a wild and crazy finish here at Daytona, Jeremy Little. In that International Harvester, triple <laughs> triple L racing. about that? International Harvester. Put it in victory lane. By the way, someone who lost a lot, look who finished P9 after all yeah, that. Yeah, I think he uh, wrecked in uh, Kamal 4, right? I think he was in the wreck that was on the front stretch. That may have been. Oh, yeah, you're right. Because you know, he was running sixth at one point. All right, guys, we're going to bring in our winner. Jeremy Little getting it done here at Daytona, putting it in victory lane for the first race of the season. Jeremy, it's Adam and Derek up in the booth. You got a copy? Uh, loud and clear. How you guys doing? Pretty good. Maybe not as good as you. How did you survive that chaos as somebody decides to kill you there? But uh, don't matter, man. You survived the chaos. Talk us through it. Oh, I don't guess we've got donuts anymore. <laughs> uh, tried to ride in the back all night, and uh, that didn't work out. Had to use those faster early just getting uh, caught up and ran over from behind trying to woe up but uh 20 laps to go finally got back on a cycle and worked my way to the front had some uh, great push in there at the end it was gonna be a tight finish i hated to see that on the last lap uh behind me yeah man and this is a new season uh or new series a lot of guys you may or may not have raced with before of course is there something you learned about some of the guys you can work around tonight that you know you may be a little bit careful or you know you could race a little bit harder in some of the other tracks that we go to? Oh, definitely, definitely. We've run a few races, or I've run a few races with some of these guys, right. some familiar names in here. Um, and uh, that's the big part of, of new names is learning who you work right. well with, who uh, anticipating what uh, is going to happen. Um, there at the end, it was around some some. You know, names I'm familiar with and made it a little more comfortable to uh, run, certainly. Well, man, you're one step closer to grabbing a sim rig and all that good stuff, so keep doing what you're doing. How do you feel about next week going to Iowa? Up, you got me? Oh, enjoy Iowa. Uh, looking forward to it, getting on something a little smaller. These are nerve-wracking. That last 20 laps <laughs> was something else. So <laughs> let's get somewhere where we can be a little aggressive and have some fun. I agree, man. Hey, shout-outs and all that you want to give out? Uh, just, uh, just, to, to Casey, Ryko, uh, Ryko Motorsports, uh, you guys, Trackside TV, thank you for coming on board with us. And, uh, we've got some other sponsors, uh, I believe Cokie Machine, um, just all our sponsors. It's been great. Uh, this Triple L Motorsports team, other, uh, teammate couldn't make it tonight. He, uh, had to miss out. So, uh, we'll hope to have him back next week and see if we can, uh, get a couple podiums. Hey man, well done tonight. Good job of saving everything till the end. Hey, we appreciate it guys. Thanks, Thanks so much. Buddy. Moving him back up, and I believe he's teammates with uh, Robbie, by the way. But anyway, next up, Kenny going to finish in P number two. Not a bad night by any means. 
We pull him in and we'll talk to him. Give me just a second. Pull him down here. There we go. Hey, can you get Adam and Derek up in TRE? You got a copy? Yeah, I got you. Man, finishing P2, and Derek was just talking. He felt like if this was Talladega, you may be the one at Victory Lane. Talk us through that last lap. It got wild. I don't know, man. It was it was just crazy. I mean, it was probably some, some of the best racing I've had on the sim. It's, yeah, it's just, it just all happened so fast. I mean, it, it was a lot of fun. I agree. Um, we talked to Jeremy as well. Tell us a little bit about your night, man. It was an up and down night for a lot of guys. A lot of cautions, of course. Daytona, two fast repairs. A lot of guys can reset. It was a good thing for some guys. Um, not so much for others. But talk us through your night, man. Overall, I mean, finishing second is not a bad night to... Not a bad way to start the season out. Not at all. Um, my, 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 my plan was to just ride up until lap 80 and, you know, really just survive. And it's, it was, there was a lot of caution. I wish we could have had some more green green, green uh, flag racing. But, yeah, we just really just trying to survive, you know. For sure. It looks like you did that, man, pretty good tonight. Finishing second place puts you in the money as well. Congratulations on that. Any shout-outs you want to give out tonight? First, I want to thank my uh, spotter, Chris Apgar. He, he did great right on the calls tonight. Awesome. I got to thank my uh, sponsor, uh, Jeff McConey, McConey Setup Shop, and Apgar Esports. Hey, good job, not man. Thank you. Thanks, buddy. Next up, we're going to talk to Blaine. He finishes in P3. Let me see if I can find him. There he is. I can pull him down. It might take me just a second to drag him all the way down here. Uh, let me pull him in. Hey, Blaine, it's Adam and Derek up in TR, and you got a copy? Yes, sir, I do. Man, finish the P3, and uh, we've seen you up front quite a bit tonight. Um, come up a few shot spots short, but still not a bad way to start the season off. Oh, yeah, not bad at all. Um, I was just trying to keep my car clean the whole race, and I did until the last couple laps there, and it was pretty dang fun, pretty dang good finish. Yeah, so tell us a little bit. About, we we talked to guys about this week already. We know we've seen how the race went. Tell us a little bit about next week. We go to Iowa. How do you feel about taking this car to Iowa? I feel pretty dang confident, but I have to get some practice there. I was uh, one of the tracks I'm not really good at, but I think I'll be pretty dang good at all the short tracks next on the schedule. Well, man, congratulations finishing into Monday night. Is there any shout outs or anything like that you want to give out tonight? Oh yeah, I want to thank SP Carburetors and uh, for what they do for me in real life and I want to thank everyone at Smart Away for uh, helping pay my way into the into not into tonight. Hey, they got a good driver man. Good job on finishing third tonight. Yep, thank you. We're gonna pull him back up. It might take me a minute to figure out how to get him back up there because it is Derek, see if you can pull him back up there for me. It does not let me drag him up there for some reason. Uh which one? Uh Smart Way. Oh no, he already moved. Okay, there you go. Um next up let me I wanna pull in Casey real quick because I had to do this. Oh, he, he's hey, muted. Right. Oh, hey, Casey, it's up. Oh, he is muted. Um, we'll put we'll him back up there. I'm sorry. I didn't realize he was muted. That's all right. We'll get yeah. him in next week. Um, Derek, all in all, the race wasn't the most exciting day on the race. The finish was fantastic, though. I will say that. But, I mean, all in all, it wasn't too, too bad. I mean, we did have a lot of yellows. That's going to come with it um, at first. But, overall, I mean, these guys are still on a learning curve. Yeah, and... You know, it is Daytona, like you said. I mean, these cars, I mean, back of, uh, lack of a better term, they suck here. And and so, you know, I was, we, let's be honest. I mean, we weren't expecting, you know, I wasn't even expecting it to be side-by-side side coming to the checkered flag. So, I mean, they definitely uh, they definitely beat my expectations, you know, for tonight. I mean, we've seen a great race back. Uh, I just couldn't. I figured we would have had maybe a green-white checker or something. kind of glad we didn't because I don't think we would have seen – kind of finish we've seen if, if we would have green white checkered i agree next i want to bring in casey real fast and talk to him because he is the one i think he is the owner by the way i, I just want to clarify that casey you got a copy yes sir man first off i want to bring you in here because it's a new league and i want you to explain a little bit about this series because I, I try to explain it but i want to bring you in here tell us about about this series man how you got it started yeah i uh I've only been on the service now for about three months, and uh, I've been racing my entire life. And I was like, "Well, let's put a league together." And we ran a super late model league, and it was a lot of fun. So, but then I started dabbling and running a few different other leagues, and I stumbled on these ARCA cars. And I know they're one of the first cars, but in my right. opinion, these ARCA cars are the best they're racing fine. on this game. 
Um, and uh, I told the guys at the end of the season with the late models, I said, hey, I'm going to start an ARCA league. Uh, I put it out. We had trial races. Um, not anybody could just come in. We had trial races to try to make sure that we got really good talent in here. Um, and we got a pretty, pretty stout field. Good field, yeah. Drivers. So we had some cautions middle way early on that, you know, were kind of getting too pushy too early, but you're going to get that in the super speedways. Especially in these cars. Yeah, I agree as well. It's what we was talking about a few moments ago. So we was talking about, you know, where we go next week and stuff like that, a little bit of short track racing, which I absolutely love. Tell us a little bit about your sponsors, man, that you got involved inside of this because I'm sitting here looking like Smartway Remodeling is involved. I mean, there's all kinds of the Rocco Motorsports, which I've heard so much about um, just from being on Facebook. I've seen posts about it. Tell us a little bit about some of the sponsors. Yeah, man, um, we, we have a good group supporting us. Uh, Smartway Remodeling, Randy Coaching. Uh, he races in the series. The guy, he he just loves racing, um, and he's he's a huge supporter. Where's he based out of? Do you know? I think. Is it Michigan? Um, I not. We'll find out. I'll find out for next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, he's from Kentucky. Okay. So, um, he's a real good guy. You know, if we have a cash race, man, he throws up the money right away. Doesn't doesn't, you know, do right. anything like that. Um. If, if, you know, we got DeMarzo's gears, um, AJ DeMarzo, um, real life racer out in California, right. races over at the bowl ring and places quite often. Uh, Ryko Motorsports, um, that's actually my company. It's great, by uh, the way, from what I'm hearing. Yeah, we, we started that up. Um, like I said, I started on the service three and a half months ago, ran some official races, and I said, hey, um, we can help people out here. Um, I went from a rookie class to an A class, 3,300 in less than a month Wow! Um, with, with the setups. And we have a really good team. Uh, one good thing about Ryko Motorsports is that we, we don't sell something that we don't race right. ourselves. Um, where you get that out there with other places, they water it down right, and then right. they try to sell it to you. So, um, And then M40 and Galesburg Speedway, those are where I raced my entire life growing up. They came on board and... Uh, took care of our broadcasting costs and brought you guys in and we're really thankful for that awesome. um so yeah uh put a, it's going to put up a real nice points fund um for for these guys real good payouts um so overall it's just uh, it's a real real good deal and i think we, we got a really good group headed in the next week here for people that was wanting to know about the rocket motorsports one of the things i thought was pretty interesting was the setup sheet that you guys provide that's something different that i noticed that nobody else offers so it kind of helps guys that might not know a ton about setups kind of get the explanation for what i took from it anyway of what to do to the car so that's pretty neat um man any other shout outs or anything else you want to say before we let you go i just want to say thank you to all the drivers for coming out tonight um you know this is a time investment um and uh the patience of getting through the first night uh, right. we, we, did, we, we did well um i want to thank our race control taver maori um for for all that he did and most of all thank you guys for uh, your great work and everybody that watched um please share like uh trackside racing network make sure that you guys get their get their likes up and share some stuff for them hey keep doing what you're doing i am looking forward to iowa i think it's going to be a good race so keep doing what you're doing man we'll we'll be talking to you thanks man have a good night you too buddy really down to earth i like that he was honest um Mm -hmm. i like that and that's something a lot different most of our league owners are like that, but, you know, we've had some. It's not so much. Yeah. Um, so I like that. But anyway, that'll do it, guys. My thoughts on the race, pretty much whatever these guys said. Um, tune in tomorrow. We'll talk some more about it from the Back in the Game podcast. Don't know when, but we'll have it sometime tomorrow. Just follow us on probably, Facebook and you can see it. Yeah. We'll probably give you all about an hour heads yeah. up whenever we go live so, so you can follow us on facebook and you'll be notified when we go live as long as you follow us over on facebook so make sure you guys do that we do appreciate like i don't think me and Derek say that enough y'all don't really understand how much it means to us to have followers back here on facebook and tracks out on youtube um it was a big leap when we came up back over here and Derek, you would agree um oh yeah I'm glad we did, so we do very much appreciate every one of our followers. We try to talk to y'all as much as we can. I know sometimes it gets a little bit spaced out. We don't, but um, we do appreciate y'all very much. So that'll do it for us tonight, guys. I hope everybody has a great night. Derek, anything else you want to say? Uh, No, sir. All right, that'll be it. Y'all take care. Have a great night, and God bless.